This is Bacor with another string of tal joke and podcasts. Today, people, is June 28, 2018. If we're gonna be checking out some space loss streams from the from May Christine, it's gonna be pretty, pretty awesome. I hope they, as you can see, they're almost starting up. They're gonna bring some new news to the to the to the game. Well, are we gonna be uh, talking, giving giving my opinions, and stuff like that? Si you wanna, uh, si you don't wanna, uh, si you wanna see the streams without me talking on top, you can you can you are free to go to the uh, to the Space Lords uh, streams directly because they're gonna be talking over every time they say something. You know, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So don't miss out, don't miss out, so you wanna hear my opinions, you can stay over here too, so you wanna, you know, it's gonna be pretty awesome, yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty awesome, I hope they're gonna bring, I hope no, they, they're gonna, I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring some new, some new, um, Space Lords, uh, news and stuff like that, which is pretty good, Yeah, which is pretty good. Let me let me see if I can up a little bit the 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 volume of the space lords uh, streams, so you can hear something, you know. So you can hear song stuff. How's it going, people? How's it going? Yeah, people are gonna say sorry because I, I wasn't able to be uh, around this whole week. It was pretty crazy, people. It was pretty crazy. Let me put the the tweet on the tweet pretty quick while the this is beginning. You know, it's pretty important to 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 tell everybody. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. You're not gonna see it. I'm gonna put it off camera. Let me let me put it on camera so you know what I'm doing. So you know what I do. Oh no, I cannot do it at the same time. They're gonna put it off camera. Let me see. Let me see because they they are still not ready. Let me put it over here so you know what I'm doing. You know, let's 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 tell everybody. Let's tell everybody. Tal show and podcast stream is is live at. Let me put it the podcast the hashtag in hashtag is is live at. Bakor TV, Bakor TV. Con to. Talk and see some gaming news. Some gaming gaming news, yeah. Come to talk and see some gaming news while earning and get some gaming news. Well, earning some points for the August 23 give it away. Yeah, very important. Don't miss out, people. Don't miss out. Yeah, let me put it somehow to get over here. So, X Frox, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, touch out and podcast stream, stream is live. Uh, about our TV contact, contact against some gaming news. While I earning some points for the August 23, give it away. Yeah, let's see, let's see the Twitter. It's pretty good, pretty nice, pretty awesome. It's there it's to all the people that belong to Twitter to check it out. 
which is very nice, very awesome. People remember to follow my Twitter, it's a pretty awesome place to know about all the things that we do in the channel, you know. Don't forget about it, follow my Twitter. Pretty awesome place. Every single news about, oh, I'm not gonna come into to a stream because this, this, you know, apologize and stuff like that. You can find it. You can find it in my Twitter, people. So you get to know what's going on. Yeah, this whole week was lost. This whole week was crazy lost because uh, I wasn't feeling good coming from the job, you know. Uh, and then not be able to stream because I was super tired and super sick, you know. Follow Space Lords Twitter too, people. Don't forget about it. It's a pretty awesome place to know about the game. Space Lords that we're supposed to, we're supposed to stream every single day. No, every single day, three days in a week because we, we change it. We change our schedule, people. And let's say thank you to Fossil W because we which is a pretty nice dude you know that subscribe to my channel for four months in a row which is pretty nice for rows four rows in a month four months in a row subscribing to my channel which is pretty cool i want to say thank you to fossil dali for that I really appreciate it yeah sometimes i appear sometimes i appear because i'm another person over here you see with four months sometimes Fossil Dali get on top, sometimes he's going to, yeah, they're fighting the position, the fifth position up there. But I'm going to say thank you to Fossil Dali for that. I really appreciate it. People, see, you cannot support the streams, you know, but you still want to support the streams. You can do it per totally free with the loot, you know. It's a pretty awesome way to support my streams with the loot, you know. I'm going to put the link in the chat so you know, you know, support my streams totally free with the loot this is doesn't cost you nothing it's pretty easy it only takes a couple seconds and the same times you basically um or Well, I'm gonna say a little bit silent because they, I wanna hear too what they are they are talking about. Let me check it out my sound system because I believe it, it, I'm having problem with the mic with the mic. Let me check it out my sound system because I believe it, it Most of all, if what you care about is uh, waiting time, you can just quick play with no drawbacks. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get the same uh, rewards regardless. And with uh, more people doing that, uh, we expect the matchmaking system to improve by, by quite a lot. 
Uh, you will uh, receive rewards as, as now, and you still will receive a score after each mission uh, accordingly to your, uh, to your, uh, well, your score. Uh, the rewards you gain are different in the first, second, third mission, and so on. But the total XP you can gain uh, on a single day is limited. Uh, XP requirements for all, all People remember, so you want to go check it out for yourself, the, the streams of Space Lords. I'm going to put this link in the chat so you can go over there directly and check it out. Or if you want to you wanna hear my opinions, you can stay over here in the chat too and check it out the opinions. If you got any questions, don't forget to, to put it in the chat, people. So each match you played gave you pretty much the same XP as the uh, previous one. Yep. However, the, the gold income was diminishing through the day. So intensive players found that themselves quickly at a high level with no gold and no means to acquire all the content that they unlock. So with this new change, it's, we're switching it the other way around. Uh, when someone picks up the game uh, brand new, uh, what's going to happen is that they'll if they do play quite a lot of the matches in the first uh, few days, what's going to happen is that instead of being a high level players with no gold, they're going to be medium level players with plenty of gold to acquire all the unlockables that are in the game. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest uh, change of waiver is that you don't lose the rewards you didn't gain. Uh, you can log in into the game the next day and those re rewards will be waiting for you because they are stored in the accumulated pot. So as you can see in the, in the game, the accumulated pot is situated on the right side. And yeah, basically, this is where all is stored. Yeah, um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, so what happens is we have this reward system that's linked to your score. And that's great because it, it really rewards good performances. Yep. But sometimes losses are just not your fault or maybe you have a bad day and you chain three losses in a row, and, and the experience can be really bad. So with this new system, we want you to have a second shot at it. So um, it, it's been a, you know, there can be bad days. Tomorrow's another day, you can log in mm -hmm. and play for yesterday's uh, rewards. Yeah. This uh, pot also grows uh, daily up until, uh, up to uh, five days in a row. So uh, pot what we're doing grow? here is, again, Promoting uh, player well, freedom in a row. and giving so you some space. If you don't play space rules for a couple of days, it's fine. It's not that big of a penalty of it as it used to be. Mm -hmm. We found that some uh, there are some really hardcore uh, weekend uh, players. Yeah. Weekend players were playing lots of games in two days and getting pretty much to close to no rewards for because it was just really just a, a couple of days of, of, of income. Um, yeah, so with the pod growth uh, for five days, it's going to fit just perfectly nicely between weekends. Uh, we'll make sure that um, the system is, is so much more uh, forgiving for people who just play two days a week, even if they are just, just as hardcore as uh, everyday players. Yep. So uh, the biggest progression balance uh, change uh, is the red distribution of the forge levels, right? Yes. Yes. Um, Forge levels, we had a, a bit too many forge levels, and we wanted to, we've, we've compressed them, so the power is pretty much the same, but there's less power steps. Mm -hmm. We want you to feel those power steps, uh, and also there was a situation where sometimes you would uh, get a blueprint, you wanted to build it, but you were so close to the next power step that you, that like the wise decision was not to build it, um, we are, I think with less power steps, the decisions will be more clear and there will be less uh, situations where you kind of have to do the opposite of what you feel like doing. So yeah, uh, players, as you know, we are going to speak about also the new Aleph drops. Uh, you guys have been asking a lot about that. So uh, players can now mm, drop the Aleph. Uh, the Aleph gems will stay around and they will be pickable. Uh, just like the Aleph gems the enemies drop, uh, but there's more. Uh, Aleph gems can now be triggered to explode, you can shoot at them. So uh, this will ignite them uh, and they will explode. They still be pickable, but they will explode after a few seconds. We are going to show you now 
uh, how these new Aleph drops uh, work. We are now uh, opening the version also, but um, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Um, it's okay. You can play. Let's do um, this. Aleph is like the central force of the broken planet. So much of the narrative and like yeah, it's pretty good that they are changing the ways uh, from the alley because uh, sometimes it gets wasted when you kill somebody. When you kill some elite or some enemies, it can get wasted sometimes. The gameplay feeling that it was really something physical that was there. So we really wanted to make Aleph much more physical, much more present, uh, present right. in the reality. Um, so there's, you know, before we, we set up for this, there's something else that we tried and we wanted to talk about uh, one of these possibilities because actually we started out with um, consume, uh, uh, the ability to consume Aleph just like uh, AIs do. So AI, AI, AI enemies, they, when they get Aleph, they can just consume it and have this power up. So we, we tried that. So we tried to have uh, other different characters. Uh, when they acquire Aleph, they can like, kind of inject it and have this power up. And, and this was cool because you, you, you could make, that was a new game decision yep. to take. Yes. And also the design setting for that was theoretically like huge. So you can pretty much go anywhere. But the problem with that is that, first off, the decision was still quite binary. You were either Inject or not inject the alert. Or oh, you can shoot. You can shoot the alert in order for for that to explode. You can use the alert like a like a trap. Some mines. That's pretty nice. New new game mechanics. So if you cannot use it, you can shoot and kill the enemy. Pretty awesome. Controller inject the alert and that has this power up that's affecting you, but it didn't have that presence. So in the end, we we opted for a much cleaner solution, and it's it's pretty much. It's very much uh, an organic thing. Yes. All of gems are there. Mm -hmm. You can drop them. If you shoot them, well, all of this like pure energy. You shoot it, boom, it explodes. It has a huge gameplay effect. So now we have an ability that has uh, positioning and timing. So there's plenty of room for uh, player creativity. Uh, there's room for mistakes. Uh, the alert can be blocked for you, uh, from you if you uh, mistime it or misplace the alert. And and also it can be used uh, as a, a team play tool because you can play the alert between players. So uh, there's so much more uh, player expression around it. And then the narrative is just there. It's pure energy and it's there in the world. And it's dangerous. And the feeling just <laughs> so good. So we uh, ultimately that's what we went for. Cool. So uh, now that we have speak about the Aleph drops. We would like to speak about some changes you, you saw on the, uh, on the patch notes. So, yeah, um, we are going to put the uh, law trailer yes. since uh, we are going to speak about him later. Oh, it, lo it looks like they're gonna make changes to, to the character Love from Space Lords. Maybe fix something or put something new, I don't know. Let's check it out. Yeah, I believe that that's not the old trailer, bro. They put it just because they're gonna talk about it, about him. <laughs> they repeat it. They repeat it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, it's pretty nice now that you can you can use the the alib energy as a weapon because sometimes you cannot take it, it the enemy take it, so it becomes like a more stronger, I believe. <laughs> Oh, you basically lose it. You basically lose it. See, the enemy takes it. 
So now you can use it as a, as a trap or something, which is pretty nice. Seeing the bubble gum, uh, was this weapon was one of uh, those rare weapons that sometimes uh, wasn't just cut in it. Uh, so this, uh, the, the goal of this uh, remake uh, is give the player uh, more choice and deeper mechanics as rare weapons should do. Yeah, it's one of those weapons that we like to revisit from time to time. Some rare weapons just don't offer the complexity or the depth that they should and uh, Bubblegum was definitely one of them. Uh, what we did is um, we were a more infection, so you can stick the grenades to the wall and then you can freely detonate them anytime you want. Mm -hmm. um, this gives so much more player choice and really positions the weapon as the rare weapon that it should be. Yep. Um, this is not a power level thing, the weapon was not especially uh, uh, powerful, we think, but uh, before we could put it in the right place, it, it had to have so much more player expression. Mm -hmm. And now that you really can do so many things with it, we, it's, whether it's over or underpowered, it's, it's going to be really much, much easier to balance and it's going to find its place. Cool. So yeah, uh, we are going to speak now about rap. So yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's watch his trailer as well. Oh, it looks like a, this is a new car, a new trailer, a new trailer for Rack. Yeah, this character is not new. It's a trailer, I believe. Oh, I never saw this this trailer before. Yeah, the, it looks like a, they are making trailers for the for the ca characters they are missing in order to to. So people get a, a better idea. Oh, they they just left. They just left the the mic mute. <laughs> they don't even notice. Somebody has to check it out the streams over there in order to to this thing right. doesn't happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, um. <laughs> that happens all the time to everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, this is the trailer. Uh, yeah, it looks like they are making trailers for uh, Raki is one of the strongest characters on Space Lords, so we have tweaked some of uh, his stronger weapons, right? That's right. Um, <laughs> the main issue with Rack was uh, Shepard's power. The Shepard is uh, uh, a bit too powerful, we've nerfed <laughs> it, but with, with special nerfed it long distance. So with, uh, with this we were trying to position Shepard as a medium range weapon, it's tactical but it's also imprecise. Uh, yeah, this this guy in the game is super OP. They need to do something. And uh, I don't know if it's the gun or, or the or the ultimate he has. Those little animals that come for you, that they show the same to you. Super crazy. I hope they do something because uh, it, it only takes one guy to take this guy. To kill you right away. So it's very uh, crazy. Rack's, uh, players, even if a rack has been like mostly nerfed this time around, uh, they should find like new toys to play with in the form of uh, the hatchet or for the oh. Okay, finally, we're going to speak about Doldron, so let's go. Oh, 
Oh, I never saw this trailer either. There's so many trailers that they're making it. Oh, they are all I never saw before. Maybe for the times, maybe for the times that the game was was called uh, uh, Raiders of the Broken Plan or something like that. Yeah, I never saw this before. So yeah, the JK5 um, has never been where it should be power-wise. Uh, so that's why we are improving its usability while keeping an eye on the, on the power level. Yes, JK5 has been uh, Spelo's uh, weakest weapon for a long time. Yep. We really want to position it uh, back where it should be. And because we've improved it quite a few times in the past, we've just uh, left caution aside and massively buffed it. We've increased the ballot count as well as the starting spread. So it just starts so much more precise right now. And we hope the weapon, like we think weapon should be in the right place, if not uh, a bit above the desired power level. But since it's been so weak for so long, we, it, it, it's something that we can, that, that, that we, we have to consume. Well, the normal weapon from, from Dodron for this guy is super is super good. I was using it the other day uh, as a trial of seven days, seven days trial. It was super good. Um, kind of, it's kind of weird that it has another gun that you have to unlock that it, it isn't that good. But the normal one is super good. That. Uh, that's pretty weird that this game, this this gun, is supposed to be not that good. But that's a this a character that's kind of difficult to balance because uh, his first gun is su is super good. So yeah, uh, let's see. I think I saw one earlier. Yes. Oh, yeah, somebody was asking about um, yes, it's the other oh, drops, yeah. uh, uh, friendly damage and damage system. Mm -hmm. So what we've gone with is you can drop Aleph. Do I have the game put in there? Can you just okay. put in the game, please? Sure. Cool. Um, so when I drop my Aleph and I shoot it and it explodes, the damage of the Aleph explosion is stacked with the uh, shooter's team. Mm -hmm. So this makes harassing your own team uh, impossible and also allows you to have a... So whenever uh, the, a Raider and an antagonist are competing for, uh, for an Aleph drop, it's so much more interesting, right? Because you can either go for it and try to pick it up, you can trigger it, and you can still pick it up while it's triggered. So all kinds of situations arise. Um, there are some more complex stuff than can, that can happen, and that's, well, uh, an Aleph explosion can trigger another Aleph explosion, but then it's just tagged with the same team that uh, triggered the f first explosion, so it's not that complicated, really. Okay, so KKJ uh, was asking before, I guess it's uh, Lowe's or a relator. Uh, he says, is it the down D bat button for dropping mounts? I guess it's... Yes, yes, yes. with the uh, controller, it's the D pad uh, down. Okay, so uh, Eucalyptus says, uh, I'm, I may have missed something, but in the stream right now, did the enemies kill with low weapons drop ammo, or am I mistaken? This one. Um, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, well, I, I no. think they do. Um, not sure what love has to do with uh, ammo drops. Like love shouldn't work like any differently than any other player with the ammo drops. Okay, so uh, with ammo and Aleph dropping from getting shot, are you considering making melee kills give ammo and Aleph immediately like before? Uh, could really help Antax and return game to previous fast pace for Raiders. Yeah, well, right now we're, we're, um, there's this uh, a number of changes that we're going to add, 
and this that you see with the Alex drops and the explosions, this is just really part two of a three part change. Yeah. So with the new um, with the new patch, more Alex changes are coming. We're not ready to share them yet though. Um, currently, uh, automatically picking Aleph is not one of them, but we're well, you we're open to testing it, see what the problems are, and 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 make sure that picking up Aleph is a quick and easy uh, task. It's not something that you have to backtrack and sometimes like kind of uh, search for it. So you will will test it and, and, and see how it looks. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, McNuffin, Joan, can you tell us what about the active card display? Didn't work as intended, so it was removed. Uh, I guess it's uh, one of the cards for for this character. Yeah, I think uh, it's about uh, the other possibility for Aleph drops, right? And instead of Aleph drops, we wanted to activate an Aleph power with your uh, with your uh, with your Aleph. But the main thing with that is that it didn't really have presence in the game, right? So even if we add a power up for a player, if it doesn't express itself on the physical world and it's not really there to interact with dodge, hide, uh, and you know, uh, do a, an advanced strategy around it, well, then it's uh, it's not really that interesting, really. Okay, I I I'm seeing the questions are. Um, not only about the prices color update, but the, the something else. So uh, Whisper is asking, which kind of shields can pierce the smoking bases, projectiles, liquid shield, um, Mika's barrier, turret shields? Yeah, I don't have a, a list right now with me. The change with the smoking daisy was uh, something, it was more about uh, being consistent across piercing weapons. Mm -hmm. So right now, smoking daisy should behave just like uh, all the piercing weapons. I don't know if we uh, we are able to show uh, the ways Ayana's mines. Ayana's mines, okay. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, I can show you something cool. Um, this surface that you see, re uh, can you, yeah, the game's right there. Okay. Yes. Uh, has actually two kinds of collision information. There's one for navigating and one for shooting. Mm -hmm. So this little step right here, this makes no difference when it comes to navigating for players, but it does make a weapon a uh, difference for weapons. So if there's this uh, little broken one in here, weapons can shoot through that, even if players can sometimes, sometimes, the collision is simplified. What happened with Ayana's mines is that they were using, like, as it seems to be uh, common sense, the weapon setting. And that allowed you to position it into pretty much any surface, really like you could use all of the little mm, triangles in there to position your mines. And, and while that is the most actually realistic use of it, what happened is that some, some levels, not specifically this one, but on, on some levels what we had is there was some complex geometry where you would stick a mine and it would go in any direction because you didn't really have the precision to position on, on, uh, on a pre pre really precise spot. So uh, what we've done is, now Yana's Mines use the same collision that players do, which is a simplified collision. So if you have uh, something that's broken and has really weird um, uh, geometry, it's going to go either uh, up, left, uh, but it's not, not going to be have a weird positioning in between. So this is the change. Um, and it, it, it's actually a quality of life thing for Yana because sometimes you would run, uh, slide, drop a mine, and you don't really control where it lands. So you really want it to behave, to, to stick to the um, mobility collision rather than the shooting collision. Mm -hmm. So uh, I saw a question, uh, Benji Wallon. Hi Benji, uh, why is Constantine lock, locked for new players? Yeah, that's, uh, that's something that only really happens at, uh, for level one players. So it's not something that players should uh, will easily encounter. Um, we found that Constantine can be a little harder to use for new players, so we'd rather uh, show them other players and, uh, and, and, and we'd rather have them play uh, other characters as a different experience. Okay, and another one. Can you just log in once a week and collect accumulated pot, not playing but still getting daily gain? 
Oh no no no! Um, you do not earn any rewards for not playing. Mm -hmm. The accumulated pot is uh, just another reward for a match that you have to play. So in the end, your score on that it's the second chance. So you played for these prizes, you lost them. The next day you come back, you have one match to play for those uh, games. So it's really like a second shot at the same prizes. You have to play the game. <laughs> so. Uh Crispy Turo. Uh, okay, so no plans for return uh, melee finishers, uh, left absor absorption. Not right now, not that I can confirm. We are not. We are still disputing this with with uh, the uh, the Aleph drops, and we have told that on the forum, and so that yeah, we are still making a lot of uh, things. So yeah, um, Pronto Shock uh, is asking. What are those orange glowy spots on Dolly? Sorry, uh, the questions are arriving at all time and I don't know if um, you are asking about uh, a specific character. So uh, please be specific so we can know what you're talking about. I think it's about uh, Toldrin's appearance right now. Yeah. Um, it shows when you have uh, Aleph in you. So if you have uh, Aleph charges in you, you will now will glow orange. Mm -hmm. and that's just it. If I just drop it, it should. You see, uh, it's no longer uh, lighted up in orange. Mm -hmm. So, oh my God, a lot of things. I loved guns when I was a noob. <laughs> Tegas. Okay. Mm. Well, oh my God, guys, you are a lot. Benzi, Constantine is best character for in shock trial mission. Ah. Yeah, the uh, first match is no longer taken in shock, so it's it's not a big deal. Then again, the the first match is is about learning the game. It's not about using the best character for the mission. So it really has more to do with the uh, controls and the abilities and the fact that. Uh, some abilities are just more reactive and better for the first experience, mm -hmm. but it's it's unlocked from then on, so it's not, it's not really that special. So tell us when we get Soma, we can say in a specific date uh, still, but she mo she will most likely arrive on uh, July. So yeah, we as Hernan quote on the forums. Uh, we want to make her as great as possible. So yeah, that takes time and some adjustments and to make her her perfect. Oh my, okay. A lot of people, a lot of known people here. Mm. I always see you on social media and so, so it's cool to see you here. Um, <laughs> Ocean Fox, still one my neither neither skin wear is he's only wearing a bath towel. Okay. I don't know. Work in progress. <laughs> um okay. <laughs> so Benji is asking again, how many levels per day can you get? Well that's no, uh, you know the experience needed for each level is uh, different. So it's it depends like uh, I bought like first 15 levels it should be one level a match mostly not always mm -hmm. and they kind of slow down it's not really that much of a difference between what happens right now like not that many people play uh, more than five matches a day to really find the difference between the systems okay so uh met uh was that ask you consider it for a similar collision treatment like a Yana's mines uh what what's what weapons the, the Tarasque for hands Tarasque for hands um, the explosive one could be yeah it could be it's, it's something that we would have to explore so there's probably other weapons that would benefit from having this uh, from using the other collision keep in mind that that's not an advantage at all mm -hmm. it just means that um, sometimes you want the, uh, one of the the player expects expects the weapon to behave like that so in some levels you're gonna find funny geometry that sometimes you want to use in your advantage so we have to analyze weapon by weapon and see what each weapon needs. Mm -hmm. So Jeeper Creeper, he's asking, so with the new reward system, will blueprints still be given to the character you beat the mission with? Yes, yes, there has been no change to the blueprint system or the way that prizes are awarded. There are certain prizes that you can win for a mission and then your score uh, determines whether you 
gain more gold, less gold, whether you get to retrieve or not, the same way as it used to be. Okay. Uh, Sergei Kosinski uh, is asking, will shit happens be rework again? Mm, I'm not sure if that's in the works. <laughs> you guys uh, are asking. <laughs> now you are going, you are being too, <laughs> too specific. So uh, we are, uh, uh, we are always changing everything. So I am, we are based also on the data, you know, the... Yeah, um, it's, um, I'm not sure we do have like a, kind of a, a plan and that I don't have with me. Uh, shit happens is definitely a, a weapon that we could revisit, but I don't know. Okay, take us. Yes, more skins, it's always appreciated. Don't worry, more skins are coming and they are so cool. I know you guys are gonna love them. Um, yeah, question, cool, f cool phone. He's asking, well, when do we get to play with you or against you? Well, we can do that in the future as well. We have confirmed we want to play with you, against you. You can antagonize us. You can do a lot of things. You can kill us on live. So yeah, I know you're going to love that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be the one. Um, making that challenge but probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to be the big team <laughs> uh okay let's see mm -mm -mm. okay sergey kuzinski is asking will you update tutorials now that system change uh, uh yeah. yes yeah yeah tutorial changes are coming but like th this update does feature a new uh First, uh, a slightly different and uh, first experience, uh, but probably with the next patch we'll so have something more more obvious. I think this depends. But Benji Waller is uh, he says I got two three levels a day with around uh, ten thousand permission needed previously. How much can we get? I think new players might be uh, put off if they can get as much experience per day as they play. Yeah, uh, as I said, I don't have the numbers with me, and it's a pretty complex yes. uh, Excel file to follow, so it's really hard for me to to, to, measure, yeah. to, um, to really give you numbers right now, but uh, new players are actually going to have a much easier experience, because uh, tuning the experience for the first um, uh, 20 or so levels is so much easier, so it's been tuned around and really worked. Uh, as for the um, higher levels, it should still feel the same as it used to. And if it doesn't, we'll, we'll change around. Okay, so GR Gamer uh, have been asking about the roadmap. Uh, we don't know how the roadmap is going to be finished. Uh, we work uh, on a lot of things, so it's difficult to measure as well. But uh, what you guys need to know is that we do our best to give you the best possible experience. So I don't know if you have to say something about it. Well, yeah, we're working hard on the next patch and we're not quite ready to talk about it yet. Yes, that's it. Um, let's see, let's see. Mm, nice, more skin are coming. Oh, Bacorp, hi. There's a lot of, of um, known people, it's, it's cool. Um, Is uh, 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 is it snap nose? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, Sorry, guys. You're asking a lot. I'm trying to uh, keep on. on yeah. Uh, the whisper right here asks about Ayana Short Nine. Yes. I. Uh, it's just been released so recently we had with the um, what happens when we release a weapon is that the first the first week or so uh, we have it's a data gathering period so we have the bug reports if a bug of, of, of course like specific bugs such as that if, if there are invisible lines which I've not always I'd have to ask uh, QA about it um, well that's being patched and, and, and bugs are just solved as quick as possible and all the power issues and behavior issues, no more design stuff. We need like kind of like a week. We gather the data, uh, power we meet, and then we analyze weapon by weapon stuff. We, we need like kind of like a week. 
Uh, so, uh, Life 21, uh, oh, Dino, uh, is there a possibility we will be getting a new gun skin cards for Aneska? Great stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have new stuff coming for skins and such, but... Who knows? Yeah, we're not quite ready again. We are working on it. But um, I know you guys, as I said before, I'm gonna love them because I love them. So mm. I know we, are, we have similar tastes. Uh, thank you for your responses. No, thank you for being there. Uh, this, is, this is amazing. <laughs> is, this, is this a rice? I don't know if it's it. The rice. <laughs> Can you guess? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. Uh, There's this question by Jeepa Creeper asking about gun effects triggering LF explosions. As far as I know, all gun effects should trigger uh, LF explosions, but I'm not sure. But, but I, I do think that Kuzman Rays don't target that. So um, anything that can deal damage will damage the, um, the LF gem, but things that have to pick a target and have to activate uh, for them to deal damage, it's like uh, Yana's Mines and so on, I think they don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how they are talking. Oh my god. They have like the intern jokes, so mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> okay, so you was answering the Jeeper Creeper one? Yeah, Okay. So, Nerafi, have you thought of separating PvE and PvP damage? That's a deep question. That's yeah. a complicated question. Um, separating PvE and PvP damage is a possibility, that, but it, it's really a double-edged sword. In the, the, it theoretically gives you like apparently perfect uh, ability to balance all the game, but it comes with a high price. First off, um, the costs uh, of uh, every design decision double, which means we either do things twice as slower or just twice as badly and mess up just twice as much. And that's a big deal actually because... Um, because I'm still new to the game. There is so many questions I don't even understand. But I hope you understand something from the from those questions because they are very, as I can say early, are very specific. <laughs> big decision, uh, design decisions that we take. So then again, it's, it's like a really poison gift that would be really common uh, design decisions. And then it would uh, take so much from the, the learning of the game. Really there are so many metrics that you know uh, because you play a character and it's second nature to you and you know how much damage you need to deal to kill a certain enemy. And if the PvP and PvE damage was uh, different, it would just screw up so much of the learning and the uh, second nature of the that that the, the happens when you manage a weapon and a character like really well. Right. Okay. So Adi is asking, will you uh, consider making custom Malay animation? But remember, you can go over there to the to the uh, Space Lords uh, channel and check it out for yourself. You don't want to hear me talking from time to time. Yeah. Uh, it is. It is still good. Yeah. You can check it out. The link is in the chat, so check it out. Uh, the animations for each weapon are not custom to each raider. Raiders do have a custom set, like the default set, fighting set for each raider is specific to each uh, faction, so they are different and the finishers are different, but, but right now not for the aesthetics. One the thing that happens with this, the aesthetics is that we really have to balance the produ uh, producing cost uh, because uh, we really need to uh, it's something that we've um, struggled in the past yep. and it's uh, having the right production cost so we can price the items in a way that's, that's fair. So if we uh, over design a product, what happens is that it, it just will not reach the players at the, pr at the price point that, 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 that makes sense. So um, really making a specific melee set for, rider, for each raider and weapon uh, would probably um, scale up the costs quite a lot. 
Okay, uh, back there, I think this is, um, this is so cool. Uh, my wife says you guys have amazing artists working on there. We she do. loves your art style in Space Wars. We do. Uh, yes. Yeah, we agree. There are a lot of talented people here, and we all are amazed every day, mm. <laughs> almost every day, with their work. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's great. Thank you guys so much. Um, okay, Mednafen, are there any plans to further adjust the emote system, like a wait or go comment? Ah. Mm. Hmm. Um, we are reviewing some of the, I, I think you're, uh, the, um, they're talking about the command system, so yes. like giving orders like wait Definitely. or go, mm -hmm. rather than uh, emotes that are more, emotes are more like uh, static stuff where you just signal to other players, yep. and the commands are more instructions. We are uh, watching closely the instructions, the orders that we have in game, and see what we can put in and, 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 and out and, and we'll I'm, I'm not sure if we'll, we'll change them. As for emotes, we are making lots of emotes. Some of them are purely aesthetic and they're just dances, but some of them do have, a, like, can convey meaning. So yeah, there will be emotes in the future that you can use to convey meaning as well. That's great. So uh, pronto shot, uh, will the Aleph gens, uh, I don't know if we, if we mentioned this before, uh, he's asking, will the Aleph gems explosion damage balls as well? As well? Yes, they, they do. And it's actually one of the more significant changes gameplay-wise or balance-wise mm -hmm. of, of this update. And as I said, the, the new Aleph drop feature has so much player freedom into it. And there's so much that you can do. And like mission to mission, there are different uses for that, and and the fact that you can like kind of bomb bosses with it is, is a huge change. In fact, it's one of the changes. One of the changes that's taken us more time to balance and work around, because you could do pretty much pretty like radical stuff to bosses, and we've been tuning it around. There's like it's quite possible that something has slipped. And then there's uh, bosses that will be having the influence. Yeah, I'm back, people. I'm back for more. Any questions, uh, don't forget to put in the chat. We are watching the Mercury Sting Special Lords uh, stream. Second stream that they do. That they, yeah. Pretty awesome, pretty nice. Uh, so you want to go directly over there, you can... The link is in the chat. So you don't have the link, I'm going to post it again. So if you want to go over there without me talking. There is so many things that oh, hi, hi. I was hoping to explain it, but uh, I'm kind of new from the, to the game, so I'm kind of learning new stuff. Oh, um, like, character I like to play the most is, uh, like, um, uh, Loth has, like, not that much uh, depth or complexity. But like all of his weapons have this uh, radial uh, fallout of damage, mm. so uh, it rewards precision a lot. So even if it doesn't look like a character that requires precision, it, it actually requires a lot of precision because if you place the grenade just um, b uh, below the enemy, mm. the, the damage is so much higher. And then the uh, Lowe's um, ability is not only extremely cool, it's also tactically so important. And whenever there's a huge survival phase and we're completely lost, I switch on to beast mode, uh, clean the map. I that's like for me that's the most rewarding thing you can do in this game, or at least that's that's how I feel because I, I feel like I literally turned into a monster, cleaned the map and saved the uh, and saved the day. <laughs> Amazing. So uh, Ocean Fox, uh, will Aneska secondary fire on her weapon activated crystals? I I guess uh, he's asking if, uh, if I think so. The gems, if, yes. if they can explode with the. Yes, I think so. It deals like deals damage. Anything that deals damage activates the crystals. Uh, like, I, I, there's lots of interactions. I don't have a list for them right now. But generally speaking, anything that would deal damage to anything that was there will deal, deal mm -hmm. damage to the gems. Things that will not deal damage is things that need to be triggered specifically by an enemy. So all of gems are not in an enemy. In, in that sense, but um, who knows? Um, uh, that's something that will 
we'll have to see if that's the right decision or not. Okay. Uh, Benji Walla, any chance you can give insight to push uh, changes coming in future? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the push mechanic. So yeah, we drastically nerfed uh, Tulsuk because um, because now we're ready to, we know that's temporary and we know that's not a solution at all. It's just something that we do while we implement these changes. The push mechanic is, it takes uh, too much away from the receiving end. And so uh, while the, usually weapons that have push do require quite a lot of player skill and you have to position them and the, and the, and the direction of the push is really meaningful. Uh, the other part of the push, they're not expressing skill. And, and that's a big problem with the push. The, the fact is that we want a push to be something where both players still interact and still take decisions. So if we're reworking push, um, we're giving a player choice, we're giving them the ability to um, adapt to the penalty that the push is instead of just accept it and wait one second until you, you get control again. And when this is like this is a base change. We're, this is not because we want to balance Tulsa or any weapon. This is because we want push to be a, a healthier mechanic. And then all the weapons that you push, uh, push such as uh, most of uh, Genebra, Lolf, and obviously Tulsa, uh, Constantine's Tulsa, uh, those weapons will have to adapt. So some weapons that you think are okay power wise, they'll probably need either more power or uh, more usability. And Tulsa, which is a weapon that's Obvious, whose power is obviously never in the right place because it's just such a, a hard mechanic that you can do nothing about makes a weapon just impossible to balance. So we think with that, Tulsa will be able to just find its place in the game. Cool. Okay, uh, pronto shot, uh, and this is a funny question. Are pisachas and nilbons edible? As in, can you eat them? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know why, why uh, for, for me it was funny. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Oh, my, I had one. Uh, okay, this one is good. Jeep Creeper is asking, so with the Forge levels being half to 10, what's the rate for Forge prices increasing with yield steel cap at uh, 90,000 uh, for a level 10 rare? Yes, the Forge changes uh it's not really uh the best it's not really a, a final change so um we have great things coming for the forge as you all know because there are forge related updates in the future which we will not talk about so anything we do about the forge system uh from now until that those uh, big updates come it's a little bit like what, what we said about culture now that we know the destiny now that we know where we're going anything that's just simple enough to implement that will uh, pave the way and just prepare the game for when those new, uh, uh, new big updates come, what we can do. So uh, reducing the force level to 10 is not something that we want to achieve, but just a, a step towards these uh, big updates that just because we can just do it right now, why not just advance it and have the game working uh, as it intended or as it will in the future. Um, because that, that, that's just really, really convenient. Mm -hmm. Because if we make a mistake, we know the mistake earlier. We have data. So we, it's just a, a much better platform for the new update if you've like gone a step closer to your, uh, to your objectives. Okay, uh, this is an interesting one. Adi is asking, there are a few missions I never play as an antagonist will uh, instantly destroy the target. Will there be anything put in place to stop uh, Grandlab, <laughs> the protector, uh, getting blown up on site? So yeah, uh, people have been have been asking about this uh, missions yes. a lot. Yes, some weapons that mm, hook themselves onto the ground with uh, effects that cannot be counterplayed, so they cannot be destroyed and so on, are very powerful against some bosses and specifically as. Uh, the protector, the second protector, um, when used by the antagonist. Uh, essentially, the second protector, protector is like a boss for the antagonist, right? Um, that they have to kill. And, and some weapons just excel at that. 
And it's always been a, a problem because it's okay that some weapons are specifically very good against non-moving targets. Um, but but it's been a, a huge issue with antagonists and that mission. So um, yes, we are doing something. We have re repeat many times with uh, balanced weapons that stick to the ground around that problem, and it's just something that we cannot do forever because uh, we cannot ba we, we don't want to balance weapons around one mission. Um, so yes, we are doing something about it, and <laughs> I think it's having the next patch. <laughs> Um, so yeah, <laughs> we are saying goodbye to uh, to a very special person in our hearts. Um, so yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, on this core, a lot of people always ask about the Shakura, the, the weapon for Valeria, and uh, Sergei Kosinski is asking if uh, if this weapon is going to receive a nerf. Uh, soon, <laughs> they are always asking about this weapon. I am, um, uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't have the list with me, but we do keep a list of the most uh, traveling weapons. Whether they they usually are there because they're either too powerful, uh, not like not useful enough, and sometimes they're on the list because their their usage is too flat. I'm not sure where those weapons are on the list but i'll i'll check the list when i <laughs> when i get to my place uh well you know you can always ask on uh our social media uh, our the official forum discord a lot of channels you can ask about these things uh, every day since we are always uh, changing things so it's difficult to have like uh Joan said a list and a specific list of everything what is uh, that is going to happen. So um, yeah, it is wonderful to hear uh, Mercury talk about Tolchuk. <laughs> oh my God, you guys! Crispy uh, <laughs> churro, pisacha is like an explosion of flavor. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> wait, wait. Um, <laughs> hi Karen, hi Joan, hi Chad, hi Jago Wolfen. A lot of people here, guys. A lot of uh, players uh, that I see every day. Uh, okay, let's see. Ocean Fox, Pisacha will be uh, most likely a delicacy on Mars because you will have to capture it without <laughs> it blowing up. It's like this fish, uh, this you know this fish. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, level. If you if you yeah yeah it's, it's like it's yeah, maybe you you eat it and maybe you die or maybe you don't. Yeah, I mean I mean I, this I think this fish needs to be like cooked in a special way so yes. that there's no poison everywhere. <laughs> uh, I like the idea of a pisacha a pisacha dish and and I like the idea of uh, uh, cook wearing armor. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so uh, Mac Death is asking, is that the community fan art in the background that is awesome and thoughtful? Yes, it yes. is. Oh my God, be careful with the camera. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, we have a beautiful wall of fan art. Uh, it's uh, the amazing uh, artwork you sent us every uh, weekend, so we can include it on the Space Lords community every Monday. It's incredible. Uh, you guys have are so talented, and yeah, I myself uh, see it a lot, and I love all of them. They are amazing. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, we are going to uh, read a few more, and then we we'll finish. Okay, guys. So yeah. Uh, uh, uh. My first time on a Space Lore stream. Hi. That's amazing. We hope you guys like the content. You can always uh, leave your suggestions and things like that. So we can do things with you in the future, like playing with us or um, yeah, Q&A like today, things like that. It's always cool to interact with the community. Mm-hmm. Okay, Andre G. Pantonio, we are getting a, ch a change on the weapons forge system. Can we expect any change 
on the card shuffle as well. Oh my, they have been asking about that a lot. Yes, um, you know, the four Japanese are quite a long way off. Yes. Um, but yeah, the fact that, yeah, yeah, like the board system needs an improvement and card shuffling kind of is part of that advancement progression system for system that we want to change so yeah mm -hmm. i don't know about this one yeah um the passive bonuses the passive bonuses is something that we've like get to the side they are necessary uh mm, to to increase the power level of the weapons and the offensive uh power of uh the characters we need passive bonuses to, to max that power. And so far we've done that through a uh, simple um, weapon resistance. And that is what allows us to make uh, weapons scale in, in many ways through the force system and uh, not make them collapse into a really short time to kill game. So uh, Raiders has a, a time to kill that we're happy with. It, it, it's not that that quick uh, and it's also not uh, too long so that um, could the cover system really is it very important and uh, without the passive system we couldn't have scaling weapons so we really want to have the passive system to have a secondary tertiary role you shouldn't care about it that's why it has this we uh, it, it's not prominent uh, but yeah it's something that we can bring to the table um, for it's a progression, but not for now. Okay, uh, so uh, Samurai of Ice is asking, uh, will the whip for Valeria get a change or buff? Mm, well, we, we are always tweaking things, so we don't know yet. But uh, I saw another one. Oh yeah, Adi. Uh, he, Ginevra is my most favorite rider. Will the, we will be getting a scheme for her. I'd happily pay whatever the cost it will be. Um, have in mind, a lot of characters have less skins, uh, so we need to give those characters more skins before creating uh, skins for, for, for the ones that have more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay then. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so GP Creeper, so what's the reason behind unifying all faction points into talent points? Yes, um, faction points uh, were not playing as much as, uh, 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 as much of an important role um, as we uh, wanted them to. Uh, the faction point system, uh, uh, just like gold, has been uh, having more and more uses over time. Uh, the faction points have not really increased in the um, uh, in how important they are. Um, People, so we are watching the Space Lords streams. Make us think Space uh, Lords stream. Uh, Don't forget to ask uh, any questions. We are trying so to really no to answer. Uh, we got new content for the game. You know, new uh, mechanics for the game, gameplay mechanics and stuff like that. New cosmetics updates. <laughs> A new nerf and, and buff for, for many weapons in the game, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome. Remember that we are going to be streaming Space Lord from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Last week, it was all messed up because I was sick. But see so you got any questions, you know? So you want to go over there and check it out for yourself. The link is in the chat. I'm going to post it again, you know? I remember, I remember the support, the stream with the loot, too. You can support the stream with the loot. Which is pretty good. Don't forget about it. Links are in the chat. So don't forget about it, people. Something else to spend them on, like emotes or loadout slots. No, um, status coins is a prestige item. Mm -hmm. Status coins are about showing up. Status coins will only be used to acquire fungible aesthetic stuff. So like uh, these codes we have and so on. It's a uh, it's a price for you. It's not. It's like you have gold, you have talent points, you want to save them up half a million and wait for the per perfect character to appear and then spend them all. That's just fine. Hoarding gold is great. Hoarding status points really has no point. There's not, 
there's it's just something that we're giving you as a prize to show off and show everyone uh, how cool you are and that's why it's always on, on, on fungible stuff and so uh, we know from the data that many players are treating status points like they would treat gold so right now I wouldn't spend it on an, uh, something that will that's just uh, one use uh, one time use only but that's just not how it work and uh, we hope to convey that idea more powerfully in the future and the fact that status right now are a prize that's meant to be consumed like an ice cream it's like you can't hold an ice cream <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, folks, uh, pajama skins for the characters, okay, uh, will skins. be cool and inter interesting. Seeing what they will wear will be awesome and <laughs> unique. Well, we wrote that down for the future, just in case. Uh, mm -hmm. Abol Polop, oh hi. Uh, every day I wonder if there's a plan for a new Lycos, Lycos weapon because he hasn't gotten any weapons since I started playing before the 80s game came out. Mm, yeah, we really want all characters who have uh, <coughs> four or, uh, or ideally five weapons each. Um, there's, that, there's only that, that much design space that we want to explore with weapons. There are different roles and different systems for the characters. Uh, when we expand the weapon system in the future, we don't want to expand it horizontally and just add more weapons we want to give those weapons that we have richness so we want to make them uh, more configurable and have more power so that anything that we do in the future with weapons they, it should apply to all weapons like all five weapons of each character so it's not currently in our plans to just add up weapons and with no limit but instead when we do reach to a high, healthy number of weapons per player which as I said is probably five uh, then we want to expect on, on the complexity, the capacity, and the, uh, uh, your ability to configure those weapons. Yo. Uh, so a few players are asking about the, uh, the effects on the game. I think that Leeway is also Benji Wola, Hack Milky Way. Are there any ideas or talk about reducing uh, visual effects in game? Uh, a large handful of players have issues with a lot of lights, flashing lights, and new weapon systems have uh, added a lot of visual clutter. Uh, there could be a there could be a great benefit from some kind of graphical option for a lower SFX yeah. mode. There's absolutely like a visual creep where new weapons get implemented. There's more and more visual effects, and that's again a good reason why we don't want to have more and more weapons because there's no there, there's we need to have the ability to contain the complexity, the interactions, and the visual clutter of the weapon. So yeah, we do revisit weapons and their visual effects so that they are in line with other weapons and they don't uh, create uh, as much chaos. So back in the day when we had less weapons, the chaos would be much more limited, but with all the combinations of colors and, and permanent effects and so many things happening in the game, there's definitely this, it's building up com visual complexity yeah. and we have to revisit it from time to time to uh, dial it back uh, to where it should be. But some weapons are like, it's not something that always makes it to the patch notes, so it's not really obvious, but uh, old weapons do go through the effects team to tune the effects, not because there, were, there was anything wrong with them, but they did need to be uh, more um, respectful of the space and the, and the visual space of the rest of the weapons. Okay, guys, so we are going to read a few more and we're going to finish for the day. Uh, let's see. Um, Life 21 Jaima uh, asks maybe seasonal skins or events like Christmas, summer, winter in the future. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, um, yeah, gaming Black Jesus definitely makes sense to only develop weapons on a need to basis and not just community ones good. Well, yeah, but uh, of course the community feedback is also so valuable to so helpful to us. So uh, I would say it's a mix of both. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we are going to close. Uh, the stream but uh, we guys uh, have been uh, a lot of fun uh, we 
we are enjoying a lot to you to you know to be here with you and to answer your questions we hope you you have understand all the changes coming within the braces galore update uh remind it will be out on july 2nd so yeah uh, you can always use our social media channels our uh, official forum as I said before the discord and so to ask us so yeah thank you very much thank you thank you thank you for your uh, continued support uh, we hope to see you in the next streaming and yeah thank you bye guys When I was younger, I wanted to live my life exactly like yours. You're really milking this thing for all it's worth. We're the world's greatest superheroes. They snap their fingers and we jump. Why? Because they sign our checks. Who's up for that? Yeah, pretty nice, pretty awesome string of uh, space lures. I hope, uh, I hope it, oh no, it just, uh, it looks like uh, it just it finished now. It looks like it just, they just finished now. Pretty awesome, pretty nice. You got any questions, don't forget to put in the chat. Yeah, don't forget to put in the chat, peoples. Remember, this is our game list. This is the, the games that we are playing. Uh, so you got any any other game that you want me to play in the streams don't forget to to tell in the to put it in the chat remember that our schedule this is a new schedule people we just change it Monday Tuesday and Wednesday we're gonna be playing Space Lords that was the the stream you was watching you know from Space Lords uh, Thursdays, uh, this week, this next week, we're gonna be playing Call of Duty this Thursday. Uh, we move on from the Saturday, second game, to the Thursday. I hope that doesn't create any inconvenience. Just to give it like a more lay, more time to the Quake Champions. You know, the Fridays, like today, we're gonna be doing the talk shows and podcasts. We got the... Uh, we were watching the Make Christine Space Lords uh, streams with new content, new stuff that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Saturday, tomorrow, we are going to be playing Quay Champions, you know. Quay Champions is going to be pretty awesome, pretty nice. The Sunday, other streams, you know, with the. With the. Lubricant Sharebook, you know. 
we got more time more time so on this now to f basically finish the whole page like uh, we did it last last sunday it's uh, still a lot of work i don't believe it's gonna have a uh, enough time but we're gonna dedicate more time to the to the lubricant shower book uh quest champions too uh, what i mean what i mean is like uh, we are gonna have only one string on saturday and sunday you know double string on some weekends is no anymore i would I was doing it because I wasn't I wasn't streaming during the week, but now that I'm kind of committed to stream on the week, we are gonna uh, we are gonna stream do like a, a longer streams on, on weekends, you know. I hope that you see you got any question about those changes, don't forget to put in the chat. People remember August 23 is gonna be the loot, the day of the loot, uh, which is I hope. I hope you all, you all guys like it. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> what the, what you have to do is to watch the streams. Watch the streams to put your name in the leaderboards. You know, every time you watch the streams, you get points every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes, people. So you came over here to the streams and, and just and just spend like um, five minutes or two, three minutes. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get no points. You at least, at least you need to be 10 minutes in the streams in order to get at least one point. You know, uh, it's still a lot of time from here to to August. We're talking like a two months, you know. So don't miss out. You got plenty of opportunity. Five people are gonna be the winners too. Five people are gonna be the winners. So it's a plenty of time, plenty of opportunities in order to get the loot. The last uh, the last giveaway was in June 20. It was pretty nice. Five people got the loot. Uh, a lot of people that told that told they's gonna get it in the last week they, they kind of stopped coming or I don't know what happened but a lot of new people jumping in or oh, not a lot of new people people that was waiting for a long time to uh, competing with them against them they just take those positions and, and get the loot you know at the and the last week basically so you don't miss out people because uh, this this thing with the loot it can change in any moment in any time. Yeah, people, we were watching the the Mercury Steam, uh, Space Lords uh, stream. It was pretty nice, pretty awesome. A lot of people was uh, asking a lot of questions. Uh, it was pretty beautiful. Well done, you know. This is like uh, basically the, their second streams of uh, of uh, Space Lords the streams. They were talking about the the price galore. Some new content that they're gonna put in the game where people wanna accumulate. As long as you play in the game, you're gonna be accumulating uh, basically coins and rewards to to um, at some points get all get all that reward, all the all the points. But one of the requirements is like uh, you need to you need to play the game in order to to get the the benefits. Another thing that they took it was like. Now with the Aleph energy, every time you kill somebody in the game, uh, elite uh, or pre uh, elite or somebody dies, it they drop the they drop the energy. I don't know if you noticed when we were playing uh, Space Lords. Every time you kill us, one of your teammates are get killed, or if you are antagonist, you kill somebody, or you kill a uh, elite elite enemy, it drops like a uh, energy in the field. Now you can shoot them. You can shoot that energy with the pistol, with the guns, and you can you can blow up. It's, it's explode. This is a, a new thing that the gameplay mechanics for the Alps. As you can see, they shooting the, the the crystal. It becomes like a bomb. It's explode, eliminating everybody in, in the radius, which is is gonna create pretty crazy situation for everybody. You know, another thing I don't know if you notice the visual. Visual uh, cosmetic up uh, update in the in the skins of the characters. Now, when you grab the energy, your character is gonna glow. You know, with yellow. I don't know if I like that because it kind of it, it glows yellow and everything, but it kind of looks like a hurt, like a like a, it's getting hurt or something or damage. You know. But I really say, well, those are the changes that you need to kind of get used to. 
yeah you kind of kind of get used to with the time uh, advantages of that uh, for in some point it's pretty good because you can you can basically notice you know you can basically notice when you got energy sometimes even though you got in the middle of the screen and everything the, the indicator sometimes you miss f completely that you got some energy so at least the character is tells you you know because your eyes always in the character more than anything at least the character is tells you itself like oh i got some energies going on you know so go over there to the monolith put in the monolith put in the objective or or you say as a as a weapon i don't know if you can drop these people was dropping i don't know if you see they were dropping the the energy everywhere i don't know if is is that is part of the game mechanic i didn't ask you because a lot of stuff in the moment they are talking i just try to to listen to them i wasn't it, uh, asking questions or anything like that but one thing is uh, see you can drop the energy the other energy it could be pretty nice but to use it as a weapon but now that you can explode but at the same time it could create uh, some crazy crazy moments where when you get the energy it just go for the for the kill you know yeah they did something to the baba gun baba gun is just a go it's one of the guns that that this character uses love and they can um, um uh, buff a little bit you know it, they make some changes now you can when you stick the thing in the floor basically it basically it basically did the same thing that ajana Quenas Ayana Quenas uh, na short night short night uh, does that explode almost almost the same way yeah uh, it looks like a dragon it didn't it used to it, it used to know not to explode back in the days now it's exploding which is it kind of maximize the the possibilities of getting a, 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 a an enemy caught by the explosion, you know, uh, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. I never use the guns. I don't know really. I did really don't know the whole change stuff uh, because uh, I, the w the things that we were saying, I believe it has to go with that explosion thing, which is pretty nice. Doldron, they did some. Oh, they did some nerf to the rack. Mayura, I believe they call it this character, because his character is pretty crazy. It's kind of OP. He, they kind of know that, so they did some changes to to this character. Uh, Doldron, the one of the guns of Doldron, it got buff. I believe, yeah, I believe it does like a more damage and more stuff. Uh, it's a rare gun, I believe they, that's why they were talking, like it's a rare gun, so they're trying to make it feel rare, you know, feel like a, it's a something that you that you earn, it. because uh, but it looks like back in the days this gun wasn't that good at all, you know, but it looks good, you know, it's like a sub, little submachine gun kind of thing, uh, one thing is... Uh, Dodron is a car, it's a class that has a pretty good gun. The first one is just pretty good. I remember killing people in one shot in the head with the with the norm the other gun, you know. The other gun is like a three three shots. So kinda of makes sense they has a high damage. In order to, 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 to have some balance over there, you know. Which is pretty nice, pretty awesome. They were uh, um, they were asked uh, uh, answering a lot of questions about the the crystal, the new uh, RLF mechanics that you can explode the crystal and everything, which is pretty nice. Uh, and overall, it was a pretty awesome uh, stream. Uh, there were uh, there were a lot of questions that I didn't understand because uh, I'm kind of new to the game, and it is. Uh, it is so many stuff that I need to 
I need to learn from the game in order to understand it. like a specific weapon, specific gameplays, mechanics, and stuff like that. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it get like it gets uh, some uh, somehow complex, you know. It gets a little complex. Uh, one thing that I, w I really wish they do is like. It's like a do this strength with more meat, you know. This strength is like a, almost a, an hour seventeen. A part of the like a ten minutes or maybe twenty minutes was um, waiting for them. Yeah, basically ten minutes, almost ten minutes was waiting for them. I hope so. In some points in the strength, kind of feel like. Uh, they didn't have nothing more to say, or, or they have. They were looking. They were relying too much on the questions of the people. Like, uh, like uh, they come into the streams only to talk about one or two things. That's it. They need to. It, it, it should be good if they bring like a more, more content to the table. You know, talk to about the new stuff. Uh, talk to about the the stuff that are already present in the game too. Uh, how you gonna improve and everything like that? They did a little bit like that, but uh, thanks to the people, they they kind of get like a more contact with the questions and everything. I believe they they wanna leave some space for the for the questions too, because maybe they know people has a lot of questions. This is this is the kind of game that brings a lot of questions to the tables, and I believe it's because the unique nature of the game. You know, there is no game right now to compare to Space Lords. Some people say, oh, it's like a world friend, there's a lot of world friend players playing Space Lords. Some people say, oh, it's like Borderlands. No, man, there is nothing nothing like the Space Lords right now to compare. It's kind of difficult because it's, it's not like Borderlands, it's not like world friend at all. You know, can I, you can have some similarities because it's both of them, so, you know, you run and get look and everything, but the maps in the Space Lords are more arena. Uh, kind kind of they look like a more arena more like a rounded so it doesn't matter in, in any place you are in the map you are a bit closer to your friends something that doesn't happen world friends world, world friends are pretty linear very long maps so you can easily get lost uh, from get far away from you from your treatments and basically basically the sometimes they wait for you in the in the end of the map is you have to catch up with them something that doesn't happen over here in the special because it's like arena base kind of kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, game it looks like a I don't know but it looks like a, they introduce a new currency I don't know. Could be this the currency, the new currency? It looks like, yeah, it looks like a, it has to do with the price galore kind of thing. It's like a new currency. Now we got four currency. We got gold. We got something that I believe is new. We got the status coin and the mercury points. These are a lot of currencies. A lot of currencies. They need to simplify that because it's too many. Four, four currencies is too many. Yeah, I hope this new in overall in overall the, the new updates is about getting more rewards, you know, more coins, more gold, more stuff, which is pretty nice. Uh, as long we got rewards is it is good, you know, there is no nothing to complain with for that. Uh, one person asked a question like uh, are, are we gonna get we're gonna be able to get those those rewards without playing? No, he said. They say no. You need to play the game in order to to get those rewards. It kind of makes sense because why you wanna get rewards without without playing? You know, it could be crazy. Some games does that, like an evil line right now. Basically, specifically, you can you can basically earn stuff without playing. Like uh, right now, I'm, I'm getting gold in Evil Line without playing, you know. But I believe it makes sense over there. I don't know how how 
how sense do it in the in the space lords i don't know if you maybe in the in the future they're gonna implement something like uh like like that that you can i don't know mine something because in evil lines that's what happens you got like a industries that are working for you while you are not playing at all which is pretty awesome but i don't know if it's something that that makes sense for the space lord which is is totally different it's a totally different game yeah yeah pretty nice i got high hopes for this game, it's every day they put in a lot of content. It's getting super cool from time to time. <laughs> we got the rack, like it's dying, <laughs> going to the water. We got the rack finger. Okay, and we got uh, Alicia. Alicia almost, almost getting drowned by the coins. <laughs> That's really crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was a pretty nice, uh, no complaints at all, a little bit like kind of feel like I didn't have a lot of stuff to say, like I, they went to, to talk about one or two specific things to say, uh, but a little stream was pretty good, was pretty nice, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they, they continue with the streaming culture, because it kind of keeps the, the, the community together you know i saw numbers dropping from many games like quest champions when they stop they start doing the streams it basically the, the numbers begin to drop which is something that is not beneficial for any game you know for any games beneficial i don't know why i don't know i don't know why developers sometimes doesn't keep up with the streams, you know, doesn't want to keep up with the streams, so, oh, we don't have nothing new, let's, let's don't, let's don't do a stream, no, 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 man, just, just go over there, play the game, actually, with the, you need to be talking to the community, just like I, I do, just like any other pe person does, uh, you should um, talk with the people, with, the, with your community, people that spend money, time, your game, and trying to support you, you know. Even though you don't have new content, you should be there, you know, willing to spend time to them because it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. They were playing in Xbox, so it looks like uh, this change is coming for console too at the same time for PC. Something that we're going to give a kudos to Mercury Steam to do it because uh, they're putting the updates in every single platform without mercy, which is pretty nice. It is pretty awesome. And I hope they keep doing it in that way because this is a big problem for a lot of this is a big problem for a lot of games that sometimes update for PC it, all the conservation is gonna be updated down the line after three or four months, you know, which is, is not beneficial at all. You know, sometimes when the update for console coming, the hype and everything has been faded away. And people kind of move on for all the things, you know. So, in the way my is doing it, you know, updating every single platform right away. Maybe not the same day, but in the same week, all the updates, it is pretty awesome. Uh, they're using technologies. They're using technologies like Unreal Engine and everything that really, really allows for you to to update every single platform the same day with the merge, you know, but I don't know, I don't know how they do it, I don't know, see, see, they have to test it out first on console, you know, in order to, but the updates are already out on console because they are using Xbox, this is an Xbox uh, One gameplay, I believe, yeah. Look at how cool it looks. Looks like a almost, almost like a the same version. It's like a the same game from PC, which is pretty nice. It's pretty awesome. People today streams has been uh, almost dedicated to space lords, uh, which you can you can get totally free. You can get totally free from from the Steam. 
you know, uh, PS4, Xbox One, and the Steam Store, which is pretty nice. You know, it's totally free. You don't, you don't need to buy nothing. Uh, it's a game that I highly recommend. That I highly recommend that you get it. It's a pretty nice game. Yeah. Uh, Again, I'm gonna say sorry, I apologize for the, the skipping this this last week. I know you are trying to come in early and get the points and everything, but it was like a kind of difficult for me to, to explain this week. Feeling sick, still feeling sick. The summertime plus the, the warehouse work that I do in the heat of the summertime is no getting beneficial from me. It's not good for me. I believe that is is hurting me all the a uh, big time, you know, it's ahead of me big time. Trying to change that, but right now any change could be catastrophic for every for, for the things that I have to do, you know. But uh, the, I'm kind of aware. I am pretty aware that is 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 needed in the future to do something about it because otherwise I'm gonna be suffering all the time. The consequences. You don't want that. I don't want that either. It is pretty crazy. It's pretty us. Awesome, pretty difficult situation people any question people just don't forget to put in the chat don't forget to put in the chat we are here to to ask us questions about the game space lords and everything and all the things yeah let's people let's check it out some some uh stuff in the stand you know as I, every single touch show we check it out uh new New stuff that come into the store, Steam. Remember that we're using Steam Store for many of the things, many of the games, which is very nice. Uh, they have a summer sale right now. As you can see, every single game is being discounted, you know, from the from the Steam Store. We got Banquish for 99. So you are looking forward to this. Now is your opportunity to get these pretty awesome games. Pretty awesome games, you know. You can go to the specials, you know, or you can go to the under 10. You can get uh, the specials too. I, there is a specials everywhere because uh, it's in summer sale. That's that's one of the reasons is for you to get the games uh, in a very affordable price. Oh, that's crazy! I didn't see the five bucks. The under five bucks. I got the under ten, but I, did, I don't have the under ten, under five. Oh, the guy over here is under five. You can check it out. Six three, four nine nine. You can get it with the loot too. Vanquish. Yeah, there is a, a lot of games that are pretty, pretty good discounted. So if you want uh, specific games, or you were saving the loot, now is your opportunity to spend it in the Steam store, you know? Let me check it out, see, see if Space Lords has some, some, uh, some stuff and discounts. and uh, They always have something going on. They always have something, some discounts. Let's check it out, all the DLCs. Oh no, they don't have it right now. No, they don't have it right now, but in the game, I believe they have some some stuff. Let me check it out. In the they put it always in the Twitter. And they always put in the Twitter of so Space Lords. Check it out. We have an official date. Let's see. Space Lords. Yeah. That was the stream that we were watching earlier. Yeah, check it to see if they have something going on, some special stuff. Inside the game, they got a lot of a lot of special for the stores. I believe that's what, yeah, flash offer. Oh, this was a flash offer in June 24. Four days. I don't know if it's still there. Uh, but it was a flash offer, so I believe... Uh, He's already done. I don't know. How to check it out in the game. I'm not going to go to. I'm not going to execute the game to check it out. So, so you got the game. You can check it out. You know. Well, 
they have some stuff in the in the store sometimes. Yeah, let's check out the talk seller people. Talk sellers. On the stream uh, that we always used to check back in the days, remember the tight shows? We used to check it out, the, the top seller uh, section of the stands. Look over here. Sometimes uh, it's almost the same, you know, uh, almost the same games. Killing everybody without mercy. Divini Divinity origin Original Sins is in the top first, in the, in the, in the top. Pretty nice, pretty awesome. This game is pretty awesome. It's an RPG uh, created by Latin Studios. Oh, with a lot of awards, I believe. They put the awards over here. Yeah, a lot of awards and everything. Uh, people like the, this this game all the time. A lot. The first one and this one, the second one too. Uh, because it's pretty... It has a lot of depth, you know, it's very complex. You can talk to the P the NPC, you can make business with the NPC, you can recruit them. It's multiplayer too. You can play with your friends, you can play against your friends. It has a lot of a lot of mechanics that you don't find in other RPGs. You know you can find it over here. You see drop in, drop out, uh, uh, controller support many many things it's pretty it's, it's one of the most uh, modern rpgs right now in the in the market which is pretty good yeah it, it is pretty nice pretty cool let me check it out another monster hunter war is still you know still 50 percent it's still killing everybody without mercy it's still selling it since they since the I believe Monster Hunter never stopped being in the in the top selling list since the launch, which is pretty nice. As you can see, they put a lot of content from other games too. <laughs> like they got content from The Witcher, from the from the Final Fantasies, from every single game out there. I believe Kakon Kakon is pretty good doing those uh, cameos and stuff, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, this is again that is on my wish list. Looking forward to get it, but the dropping, I, I'm looking forward to drop a little bit, uh, to wait a little bit more. But I don't know if I get it because we're talking about Monster Hunter. This is a game that has a lot of demand, and when when you got a game like this, they don't drop m more than fifty percent off. You know, it's too uh, it's too difficult to to have like a all seventy five. Oh, 85 percent off something like that it's gonna be pretty crazy it's, it's something that is not gonna happen i believe that's the lowest 29.99 half of half a price i believe it's the lower 50 percent off is the lowest that you can get this game because these games it's, as you can see it's, it's, it's still since launch in the top selling list which is pretty nice the graphics are pretty beautiful you know Pretty, pretty beautiful. Well, they put the same character from the Witcher in the, in the Monster Hunter, which is pretty nice. Final Fantasy is Shadow Branger. It's a DLC from Final Fantasy. I believe Final Fantasy 14, yeah. The Shadow Bringers. Nothing, I don't know nothing about this game. Has been recommended to me many times, but the problem is this game has a subscription. Pretty confuses on creation model. I don't. Every time I go, I go for it. Kinda, kinda makes me confused. Like, uh, really, is this? I don't, I don't get it. You know, bro. There's a lot of people that that having. I'm not having problem with it, which is pretty good. And it's a top notch. It's a pretty awesome game. In the beginning has these little problems, but they updated it and they changed it and many things in the game. And now it's, it's a totally new game, which is pretty nice. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, Final Fantasy and the, the CGI trailers are like movies, man. They always do crazy stuff. Pretty awesome stuff. Being in the top set list. It looks like a lot of people 
I get in this DLC. Yeah, that's another thing. They sell DLCs, I believe. Yeah, it's no, it's not cheap game. It's not a cheap Final Fantasy Online 14. It's not cheap game. Has a has been in the market since. Uh, let me check it out. They are the since 2014. We're talking nine nine years, uh, five years, five years. Uh, it's still it's still pumping, you know. It's kind of expensive, but if you are a fan of the of the Final Fantasy, you know, you should. I believe you should get this game because this is the online component uh, of the Final Fantasy series. It's component, not the game, online game that you can you can get it. So you are a fan of the Final Fantasy series, you should get it. Borderlands 2, all the packs for two dollars. The Borderlands has a oh, the has a collection for two dollars. Wow, that's pretty nice, including this bundle. Look, Borderlands 2 and all the packs for two for two bucks, basically. Wow, that's crazy. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm looking to this run. I don't know, but this is super, super low. It's two dollars. You got all the content from Borderlands 2 all of them contents this is a lot of content man i believe including the the last content the last one show trap let me see i believe somebody told me like uh, oh this you don't get this content you're not gonna get it something that i don't understand why they do that yeah the new new content from borderlands 2 it was like a time a timely one. See, you didn't get it. Oh no, it's there. It's still there. Look, it's still there. The lily. That's the new, the, the new DLC. But I didn't see. It. I didn't see it in the pack. Even though it's a free. I didn't see it over here. Yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Yeah, you still can get it because it's a free content that they put in the game, but it's not timely. No, it's not time. Let me see. Let me check it out again because somebody told me, oh, it's a time it stops. You don't get it now. You're not gonna get it. But I believe it's no because how you gonna? What you gonna do something? What you gonna do something? You know, and then basically. To all earners, wilderness, wilderness, the high school collection. Until July 8, ETC. Oh. Oh, let me, let me do something about this. Let me, let me install something because it looks like if you don't, if you don't be good, if you don't begin the install, install process, you basically are losing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's until July 8. Until July 8. Uh, don't make any sense to me, you know. Why you, why you, after that, you just delay it? Or no bail for anybody? That, it doesn't make any sense to me. They should. Especially if it, it kind of tells you about Borderlands 3, you know. It's no it's not a little it's thirteen gigabytes. Oh it's, it's downloading my whole my whole uh, borderlands game. Let me pause it to do it later on. Yeah somebody told me like as you don't get it right now you're not gonna get it later because it's gonna be crazy for you to play it or something like that I say oh let me let me do it before it goes yeah check it out people two dollars to five oh it's five bucks with 90 yeah it's still pretty cheap I don't know what they say two dollars over here 
they have some crazy crazy price but it's still even though it's still five dollars this is a pretty expensive game a lot of hours of content man a lot of hours of content total world three kingdoms i don't know pretty i cannot tell you nothing about total world nothing that um, it's a huge war game based in, in history most of most of them they based in history on you know like rom stuff like that they got like a couple fantasy ones like at the world homie series i believe this one is kind of fantasy but this is grounded in reality you know this is grounded in reality i believe, I believe shiny chinese history yeah shiny history and everything three kingdoms three kingdoms i believe it's a it, it was a game like that Three Kingdoms game back in the days on Nintendo, and now it's poor. And now it's, it's in the in the Total War formula, which is pretty nice. So unique. Yeah, Total War engine formula is good because you can you can battle. You can have a massive army battling against another a massive army, which is something that that is not 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 very common. Something that that's is pretty cool. You see, battle against massive army. Yeah, pretty good. Check it out, babe. Check it out. Ross is still selling like a hurricane. It's a game that sells all the times without mercy. It looks like it has new content. Or you can do like a electronics now, right? Yeah, it's like. June 21, cheapy arcade. Yeah, it looks like I has uh, some new content from Ross. Players of uh, players of our game, cheapy on stand. We get exclusive cheapy arcade machines to play with in game plus some optimization. Some bug fixes. Yeah, this game has been since the beginning, man. It's, has been like, <laughs> oh, you got like a, an arcade machine to the game oh it's like a youtube nice no, it doesn't go to the youtube it goes to the picture yeah pretty nice this game ross has been selling in the top selling list all the time since since launch since 2018 which is is pretty nice no this is not the real this is not the this is the launch date it was last year yeah last year but the, the, the game has been around for longer than that in early access it took like a woof long time in early access it, from early access it has been a blast people has been playing this game all the time run the out of five come back coming back to the to the to the top selling list i believe he's still there from maybe maybe it went out from the top selling list for a few few days then come back uh, now that people can mod it to play like basically rpg like an rpg style and they it looks like uh, they are buy, buying more copies of grand theft auto that's that's why people doesn't understand why some companies sometimes doesn't want to the game to be mod, you know. Rockstar, the Rockstar, it was at some at some point very very with a very strong opinion about mods, you know. Back in the days, so it was like a very strong opinion about like, oh no, you know, you cannot do that, you're gonna get banned. Oh, I don't know if it was a technical stuff. I believe, I believe it was a technical stuff. You know, you mod it automatically the game. See, like a something, something is not right. Then they, it puts you outside of the online stuff. Could be, could be that. I don't doubt something like that was happening. But uh, the good thing about the mods is like a people buy the whole game back in game you know a lot of people that didn't buy the game the people, a lot of people didn't want it to, to buy the game in the beginning just because they saw them all people are streaming you know people playing you know, or some friends 
I say, oh, let me let me get let me get this uh, this Grand Theft Auto game plus the mod, you know. So, uh, my yeah, Rockstar, maybe maybe the 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 the, the players not gonna buy some some shark cars, but they're gonna buy the whole game, which is more expensive than. Yo, either way, they're still winning. You know, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it why sometimes they get mad at the mod. See, the mod is. The only thing they do is it makes the game better and keep it in the market. That's that's what the models does. I don't know why it's the the thing about oh you cannot mod my game or my game is not gonna bring you any mod uh, ability. Sit me civilization six gathering a storm. This is the last update I believe. Yeah, last update. Nine over ten for games, but wow, yeah. It looks, uh, yeah, I, I, I was hearing a lot of people talking about it, it, it looks like I include many new stuff, like Moscow, you know, and new, new, new things, I cannot tell you like another way, we can read it, if you want it, about the cards, it's going to start with the second expansion to Civilization 6, they were around, you is more than like than before, Chara Bat to victory. Yeah, it's, it's a new environmental effect, power and consumer resource, engineering projects, work congress. It's, it's basically new content, new stuff. Making the game bigger and better for everybody. Sid Meier's Civilization is, is the kind of game that has been uh, improving his own, his own way to play, you know, his own gameplay con and content which is pretty nice when the developers are aware of some problems and they improve into it yeah uh, no more cup of coffee I got one I want civilization the one is in the, in the future that you you go to the other other planets and everything you know the international 2019 bundle level bundle we are a lot of content for you Dora slobbers <laughs> 29.99, which is pretty nice. Includes a lot of new content, DLCs. Let me see. Include what? What really includes? I can I always. I always have been like a uh, confused. Emitted rewards like uh, overground empire terrain at level 160, tiny prestige items. There is a lot of stuff I don't understand because I don't play this game like uh, all the time. I play it from time to time. You know, it's a nice game, Dota game. Oh, this is a tiny, tiny pictures. Oh, they come. Oh, yeah, it becomes bigger. Oh, there is some tiny pictures here. Yeah, this game is pretty awesome. It's not like a. At some point, I wanted to, to begin to play this game like a more regular. But the problem is, it's kind of complex. There is some levels I can. That you just die and die because uh, there is a highly competitive people. Wow, this is complex. This is a new map, Jungle Expedition. Oh yeah, you just gotta, gotta have like a, some new maps, new stuff. Yeah, the the international battle battle level bundle it, it, it activate enables a lot of stuff in your game. Like uh, they let you pass to see some events and stuff. Uh, it, it has uh, some, I believe, some skins or stuff like uh, are like exclusive stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. It has like a mix, mix stuff. Yesterday I was like a, it was positive, I believe. Yeah. Oh, sixty-two for oh. Yeah, check it out so you know about it. Go for it. It's a. Uh, it's is it's in the top selling list. It's selling. It's selling. People get. They know. I understand. They 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 getting it. It's getting it. The Wizard Three Wild Home Game of the Year Edition. Pretty cheap now. Did you wanna get this? Now is your time. Everything for 14, 15 bucks. Which is pretty good. Now it's my time to get it. You know, now it's my time to get it. It's a pretty awesome game created by CD Project Rec. 
the, the same people that created the Cyberpunk 2077, which is another game that I'm looking forward to. You know, pretty pretty wreck. As you can see, if you click over there, you're gonna see all the games that they do, they produce. It's a top notch, top notch uh, developer. Uh, it's not loading on my screen. I don't know why. It looks like a lot of people are watching the the web page. Yeah, it could be that. Yeah, as you see, Cyberpunk, Throne Breaker, The Witcher series. But also developer, we highly, highly. I think it was thank you, The Witcher fresh Oh, look. I both for CD Projekt Red. Yeah, because it's kind of basically. It's a no brainer, you know. They're doing a pretty good job. Blue Stain and Ritual of the Night. I believe this is the full game from the same creator, from the creators of Castlevania. At least the the owner, the creator, the original author is playing, is working. What's happening with my? What's happening with my stores? It doesn't wanna go in. Yeah, five five games and our play our play is a yeah this is a developer with the original developer Castlevania. He decided because he's not working in Castlevania anymore. He's not working with Konami or this because Castlevania is a Konami. He decided to do his own thing, you know. Look over there, yeah, that's the guy. He decided to do his own thing with the help of the people, you know. With the help of the of the the community which basically basically uh, formed this game you know this game was kick started it was doing this and doing that giving opportunity to the people to to form the game maybe for in-game prices of to have his name in the game which is pretty nice be part of the history you know uh, I know back in the back in the days, but I couldn't do any support at all. It was a pretty difficult situation. Yeah, I got this one for the I believe for the PlayStation Beta. But over here it looks better. I don't know. Yeah, they got like a, a two-dimensional version, like a Nintendo kind of type. Of in, Blue staining. I got it for beta. I don't know if it's the same way. It looks like the PC version is different. It looks like the PC version is like a 3D character and everything, which is pretty nice. So basically, they did three games. Basically, one for the PlayStation beta, one for for PC, one for for all the look at show nice over there too. <laughs> it looks like they they did some collab collab with the developer of, of, of Shabo Nai look at Dracula yeah it's pretty nice pretty awesome very positive people liking it and stop selling top selling right now so 10% enough yeah kind of makes sense because it's a new game Sheridan Sek Sekiro Shadow died twice Shadows that died twice a time I don't know how to to play is this is the people say like it's the harder than than dark uh, dark souls and it's created by the front software which is the developers of dark souls you know uh, people are liking it as you can see it's a nine hundred from hundred and everything uh, since since uh, since launch has been in the in the top selling list have been checking it which is very nice and um, th these people from software are doing pretty awesome stuff. Uh, they are focused too much on medieval and historic stuff. That I know, all nice. I'm not gonna tell you no, but it's not. It's not the kind of games I really like to play. They got some future games with robots, Chrome Homes, I believe. They, I don't know what happened. They should give you some love to that series, you know. So people like me that like the future stuff, they can jump in into the game. Because this one is pretty nice, don't get me wrong. But 
it's not it's not the kind of games I really like to play. But since you want, since you, since you like to, since you want this game, you was looking forward. Now it's your time, you know. It's just still expensive. It's a, it's a great game, you know. It's just, it's a, it's a expensive game. So I don't believe it's gonna go lower than twenty percent off. It could be fifty percent off in the future, but you need to wait to the future, you know. But I believe now it's more than. That. Wow! Look how beautiful those things looks. Yeah, it's pretty nice, bro. pretty awesome. Check it out, people. Check it out. Shadow, shadows die twice. It's kind of difficult to say. So you made civilization again. As, as you can see, this one is the gold edition. It has like six DLC packs, rise and fall expansions, including the game too. It's pretty nice. It's for twenty nine fifty four. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. You know, so you like these kind of games. Now you you can have the. You can have all of them stuff. It doesn't include the new expansions, uh, Gathering Storm, I believe. Let me see. No. Maybe include it, but it's not here. It's not here, yeah. You know? Yeah, pretty awesome, pretty cool. But find the King Maker, King Maker Enhancing Edition. A lot of people are playing this one. It's like a kind of Diablo stuff, right? Kind of Diablo game? Maybe not, maybe yes. It's beautiful. It's like RPG, CRPG. What the, the term CRPG it, it means? Classy. Oh, I believe it's classy RPG. Yeah, the classy RPG is the ones that you can talk to the people, like you follow a, a, a life for somebody. Like you basically incarnate a, the, a life of somebody else and spray deep stuff like that. Because back in the days, developers wanted to do crazy stuff, you know, if they did crazy stuff. Now it's, it's just about production, you know, do it fast so we can get the money. Uh, but it looks like uh, some, a lot of people, like old cat games, are trying to bring back those. Uh, pr uh, high production values RPGs and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe you go back to those games and say, man, but this, this is, doesn't have any graphics. How you say that like, it's, it's, uh, it's a high production? At that time, it was high production values. Because uh, technology advanced, now, of course, now things it looks better because uh, game engines are different. They have different techniques, you know, they, they improve in their mistakes and everything. That's why they, everything looks better. But back in the days, those games, it was crazy. And let me tell you, let me tell you, back in the days, uh, we got stuff like, uh, like, not even close to this, but it was feeling like this, you know. You used to play, it was looking like this, you know, because we, don't, we didn't have the flat monitors or anything like that, you know, it was different, you know. It was different technology. It looks good at the time. Let me tell you. Now you 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 run those game all games in new computers. It doesn't look like that because the technology is different. You got flat panels. That has a different. Back in the day, it was like it was like a CRTs, which it, it kind of brings some depth. Now the depth that people use in the software in order to for you to show for for them to show you. Uh, the monitor itself cannot give it that. It was pretty crazy. The technology back in there was pretty crazy. Every a lot of stuff was made in the hardware, knowing the the software. Now software does everything, you know. That's it's crazy stuff. Yeah, they, they as you can see, like a pen and uh, on board game. You see, as you can see, like uh, they're trying to bring those those kind of gameplays, board games. You know, when you attack, you have to dodge the roll to see how much damage you do and stuff like that. Very specific stuff. Very awesome. Maybe you're not going to be able to dice roll, to roll the dice now, but you, you in the background, you got those uh, random mechanics that makes uh, makes for different experience every time you play. You know, and automatically automatically you get more Im immersive you get more immersive 
Yeah, we have a lot of personalities with a lot of characters. It's pretty nice. Check it out, people. Check it out, people. 1999. Cannot, I cannot talk more because uh, it's a game that I don't, I don't play. No My Sky coming back to the mix review. Why? Why now? They're doing a lot of content. They're doing a lot of content, but they see a lot of. How you recommend the games is 10 out of 10, out of 10, out of 10, out of 10, you don't recommend it. Yeah, that's why I believe the, the review system is supposed to be selecting numbers. You know, no, it cannot be like that because things like that happen. If people like it, they still have the, the, the thumbs down, you know? It still has the thumbs down. They don't... They don't uh, uh, add update or forget about update. So you put some system numbers, they calculate the numbers, you know, like all graphics, uh, this over this, you know. It's gonna be difficult for the people to 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 do crazy stuff like this, and because it's gonna be calculated for you, uh, it's gonna be more specific because people all know we know like all graphics is, is, is nice it's a it's good graphics you know oh it's four or three oh it's no, it's, it's no good, good graphics at all stuff like that on top of that on top of that a boy people getting crazy stuff like oh i like the game but i still top tom it down you know affecting the review for new new buyers and new people like that makes the stuff supposed to be go away long time ago because the because uh, look, it makes it is a hundred thousand. Most most positive for for twenty only. Like like Hello Game has been doing it pretty good. Why is still having those crazy reviews? You know, I put in a lot of content. People update your reviews, man. Update your reviews because this is uh, this time for this game to have better reviews, you know. It's not a bad game. It's playing no against like this, you know, the that have better reviews. This game has multiplayer, it has a lot of stuff going on already. So it's time for to you to update, to review, check it your day, come back to the store. Face that, let's uh, help Hello Games and see more that has been doing it pretty good lately. Creating new content, new content is coming, VR uh, stuff. Yeah, many, many, many crazy stuff are coming for No Man's Sky. Highly recommend it, I got it. So, if you wanna, if you wanna get it, 50% off now. I could say wait for the next sale, I don't know. But, but fifty percent off is pretty good. Taking account that this game, it will be hard for them to put it down, to put a lower price. It has been in the top sell, even though, even though it has some crazy, it has some crazy controversial stuff behind it. <clears throat> Back in the days, <coughs> no anymore. They fix a lot of stuff. Um. It has been in the, in the top selling list like uh, almost all the time, you know, almost all the time. Total Warhammer 2, Total Warhammer 2, this is a Total War series game in the Warhammer Fantasy 2, it's another game. Man, almost every single game that go into the top selling list, it doesn't go out from the top selling list. Like uh, once it's there. You can come in every single way, you're gonna see the you're gonna see the it's kinda crazy. It's kinda crazy. Check it out. I started you buy it pretty awesome good game too. Twenty percent off. It's almost in every single platform, in beta and switch and PC. And if any place you wanna play these games is is there. Highly recommend it too. I I wanna get it. It's, it's game like Harvest Moon and 
Animal Crossing, somebody told me. It's like Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon together, something like that. <laughs> the developer basically took a, every good stuff from those games and put in, the, in this game, which is very nice. Yeah, I believe it was like made for one guy. Yeah, it made it for one guy. It doesn't really let this guy. He's doing bank with this game. Yeah, no easy to do. No easy to do. I, I believe he has to spend so many hours of their life to finish this game. Something that is kind of requirement now to, to develop because uh, a lot of developers are going solo. Something that... that back in the days wasn't used a lot because uh, again like this back in the days it used to be done by a team but now we got tools and uh, uh, that is kind of possible for for a uh, one developer to do uh, which is very nice Jaden Payne thank you for the rate Jaden Payne thank you for the rate I really appreciate it it's pretty nice for you also that you are ready my streams I hope you come and ready to have some fun. Today is a talk show where we talk about games and we check it out the top selling list in the, in the Steam. You know, making a word to the people. You know, making a word to the people of all, all the offers of sales that they have. Thank you for the rare. Really appreciate it. Really supports me. Really motivates me to continue forward. How about you, man? How, how's it going? I hope you, I hope you come right to have some fun, Mr. Jim Payne. Yeah, pretty nice. It's your body, people. Check it out. It's almost in every single platform. The Elder Scrolls Fire Skyrim Special Edition has been in the top selling list to, since 2016. Yeah, almost every single week I came to the to the list, and I can basically. I can basically see Skyrim all the time over there. Kind of have a problem to load. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the, the site. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the site because it's happening with some games. Doesn't wanna load, but this is just more the the software than the than the page itself. Which is very oh, back get away, back get away. That's crazy, man. You know what is that? The servers are getting bunk bunkers. A lot of people, a lot of people are buying the games and using the servers. I don't doubt that they are getting jammed. Yeah, they are getting jammed. That's what it is. The summer sales is here, people. It kind of, it kind of put down the servers. That's that's what it is. Wow, wow, almost every single game is not loading. Let's see if it, it looks like it's gonna load now. Plus, they are, they are uh, streaming because now Steam has like a streaming thing, you see? The streaming thing, so it kinda makes the whole service more, more crazy. Let's see if they go. On. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got the Skyrim, that's the ones uh, I was trying to see. It's kind of different this list because the, they kind of change a lot of stuff. Yeah, this game has been like in the top selling list like uh, for forever since since launch, which is pretty nice. Uh, they make a they make like a changes. <laughs> Cosmetic changes, aesthetics changes, you know, so you can see everything better. Everything looks better. The water, the the, the fog effects, the shadows and the lighting is pretty nice. It's pretty cool. So you're going to check it out. Now is your time to check it out, you know. Remember that you always can use mods to make it better, to make it look better than this, you know. But it, it looks, in my opinion, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. You know, so check it, check it out, people. Now it's a uh, fifty percent off, nineteen ninety nine. Oh, it's expensive game. It's expensive game, but you still can create your club credits. 
what is that? Uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Check it out, Skyrim. Pretty nice game. Since came in, I believe everything is, is working. Racing Evil Biohazard. Yeah, since came in, it has been a, a blast. People have been having a lot of fun. Oh no, I still know how to continue using. It's kind of. Yeah, I believe we're gonna have to stop using the the checking out the games because it's getting bank. Racing Evil 2 Biohazard 39.59. Another awesome game from Kakon. Highly recommend it. Yeah, pretty good. It's a game that, that people like it a lot. They remake it. They remake it. This one is the remake. With beautiful graphics, with real people. Because the original is like a, a lot of squares and low graphics stuff. Yeah. <laughs> pretty nice, pretty awesome. People check it out. I believe it's, it's now it's time to get this game. It's expensive game. It's, it's, a, it's a classic. Kind of historic kind of game, you know. The, it brings a lot of gameplay mechanics to the, the gaming community. So that's why this game is so acclaimed by the people and so expensive because uh, Resident Evil 2 is a pretty important, it was a pretty important, it's still a pretty important game for the for the gaming community. A lot of people like it. It brings a lot of new stuff that wasn't, people, nobody was using at the time, like a new stuff that nobody knows about it, they introduce. You know, like the the movement mechanics. The no, the movement mechanics. It, it was no innovative, but it was innovative in the sense like uh, for this kind of game. You know, time controls from this for people stuff like that. I don't know if they don't. I really they don't use it anymore. But uh, somebody told me like a, they got an option that you can you can play like a, the classic ones you want or something like that. Yeah, which is pretty nice. I don't know how accurate is that information, but because I don't have it, the game, I don't plan to have it either. Because I, am, I like the game, but it's another game that that want to spend time playing it, on it. Even though it's a pretty awesome game, a Squad, a Squad, the military, military FPS, tactical, all the the boots on the ground kind of game. It's, you know, there is no crazy stuff over here, no magic, nothing, this is you, you gone, and the enemy, you know, uh, realistic mechanics, uh, somebody told me this is like a, the most tactical shooter ever over there in the market right now, something that, for a lot of people, it's like, a, oh, Battlefield is supposed to be like this. Some other people say, "Oh no, this is this is not even close to to the the battlefields. Battlefields is, is, is more arcadey. This is more like a more realistic. Like you can over here, you need to have a mind to talk to your people. It's kind of requirement. Somebody told me they kick you out so you don't have a microphone. You know, you don't pay attention. Like oh, really? Yeah." See everybody with your peoples and everything. Yeah, I kinda was following the the development of this game when they announced it the first time. But not this game. But I didn't play it, I never play it. I don't know, at some point in my life I was like a, oh I'm going for tactical shooters, you know, but now it's like a Now it's like a, I rather I write some uh, something more arcadey, you know. But nobody knows, you know. I know about this game and could be in the future something like I could play, you know. But the problem is, it's not even Battlefield I'm playing anymore, you know. Like basically, Planet Side Two, it took. It took uh, a lot. All we got 
shadow bring us over here shadow bring us over there <laughs> yeah you gotta repeat it rise and falls six major civilization bad complete pack what is this about all, all the games from back but I got a lot of them oh ricocheted from Bob too I didn't know that Left for Dead, Team Fortress, The Lab for VR. Almost every single VR game you can put on, on desktop. I don't know why they they still making VR games only for VR. They should make it desktop too. In such a Jersey Sandstone is another one that's super tactic. Yeah. But we're not gonna continue checking out the the top selling list because uh, basically it's uh, like the top 10 the top 11 games that i'm kind of more inclined to cover but it's pretty nice people remember they they got a summer search if you want to check it out don't forget about it it is pretty awesome they got the valve index in, in sale too i don't know nobody know mm -hmm. oh i hope so because it's expensive yeah, pretty nice, pretty cool. Well, people, I believe I'm going to say thank you to the people that called me to the stream today. That was pretty nice, pretty awesome. Because nobody say hi. I don't know who comes or who is there or who is not there. People remember to say hi in the stream so you'll be part of the streams without mercy. Otherwise, you're going to be basically... You're going to be basically... Uh, it's gonna be difficult for me to know if you are here or not in the stream. So, uh, thank you for for everything. People remember today. Uh, today was pretty nice. We were watching the the space lords uh, the space lords streams today. Uh, an hour or something. The majority of the talk show today was checking out the, the streams of Space Lords. Again, I play every single uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yeah, this is uh, going to be our new schedule. People remember to follow my Twitters. My Twitter is a pretty nice place to know about all the things that I do in this channel. Uh, all the things that I do in in like a video games and stuff like that. You know, I'm not talking a lot about the video game developing because I'm super slow into that. I used to talk more about that back in the days when I was like a hundred percent on that. But now that I'm streaming, I'm being like, oh, not talking a lot of stuff. But yeah, we are doing some video game stuff that you can check it out in my backward, backward net website. This is the our official website. You see, you see, we got the games, we got the all the stuff check it out my website too so you want it check out my website yeah it's pretty awesome place people remember to follow the the a micro sting space lord twitter that was the that was the 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 game that we were watching the streams today yeah i didn't have a i didn't have a anything else to do than watch the streams i go kind of cover a little bit of the games and everything because uh, because uh, i was uh i was only focusing this today in the streams that they did it was pretty nice it was pretty nice the streams they i hope they could keep doing it i hope they keep doing the streams because uh, it is uh, it's very important for the community, you know, that they keep coming with the streams and everything, which is was pretty nice. To keep the, the the gaming community uh, together. I'm gonna say thank you to Fossil Daily for subscribing to my channel for four months in a row. Let me see if it appears. Oh no, it's not appear. Let me refresh it. Sometimes he appears. Sometimes it doesn't appear. Yeah, four uh, four months in a row. Fossil Daily, thank you for that, people. Remember, there is a way to support my streams. Totally free with the leads you know you don't have to you don't have to be oh man i want to support you but i know i the money okay it doesn't matter you know you go to the link that is in the chat the last link with the little box gift click over there send a message to the stream automatically supporting the streams too you know remember that just by coming to the streams 
just by coming to the streams, you know, you are supporting the stream, so you know how to be sad or be confused about that, you know, uh, any other sacrifice, any other efforts you do to keep the, to support the streams, I really appreciate it, you know, people did remember this is our game list, Si you have any other games that you want me to play, don't forget to tell me, we take a request all the time, you know, we take a request all the time. Next week, from the list, we're gonna we're gonna play uh, the Black Ops, Black Ops Four. This is our schedule. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, for Space Lord. Tuesday, yesterday, supposed to be playing Call of Duty Black Ops. Didn't play because didn't I didn't streams. It's gonna come in next week, you know, because this last week was pretty crazy for me. Friday, tight shows every single Friday now. This is the part of the new schedule, you know. Today, talk shows, you know, it's Fridays. Don't forget about it. So you, watch, you like my talk shows? Uh, Friday is the day to go, you know. Saturdays, we are going to do more hours of Quake Champions, you know. Dedicated, dedicated maybe five, six hours, maybe eight hours of Quake Champions Saturday. On Sundays, the same thing with the Low Breaker Starbuck. Dedicated more time to... Basically, we are trying to see if we can finish every single page of the Low Breaker Star book in the same day. No more. Oh, we, we leave it for the next stream. Could be, could happen, still could happen because uh, last last stream we did with the uh, the Tad Show with the art, man, it was like a five, six hours. So, yeah, it was like a six hours stream. And the cat is supposed to be done. If we have to, we had to keep doing it like a four more six hours. Yeah, drawing is hard. Drawing is hard. It takes a lot of time. People remember August 23. August 23, you get to choose between a 25 sticky car or 25 prepared the nation. Only, only if you have your name in the leaderboards. You go to the leaderboards, click on giveaway automatically it shows the people that are participating running for the lead you know remember that remember to get the points to put you in the leaderboards the only thing you have to do is to watch my strings watch my strings that's it you know every five everybody that came to the string spend more than 10 minutes are gonna get the points you know remember every single point is 10 minutes so you need to wait you need to stay in the stream more than 10 minutes so those people that spend like only three five minutes they are not getting points let me tell you you know you have to be here more than 10 minutes one hour two hours you put in order to to see some progress you know even though even though you are knowing the list even though you are in, in knowing the top five because this is only the top five people you know even though you are knowing the list you could be pretty close it doesn't show it because it, we are only giving away for five people but you could be there, you know, so keep coming, because in any moment, one of those people stop coming, you can take the play. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. So don't stop coming, because a lot of people over here, they give you opportunities for you to get in the in leaderboards, you know. And you could be the next winner of the giveaway. So don't forget about it. You know, it's just something that we do every two months. If we got like a, um, two years, two years, people, see, you didn't get nothing. You know, it's because you wasn't here, you was doing something else, you know, because we got already two years doing this, almost two years doing this thing. So, man, get stuff, you know. Five boxes, think of cars on the weekends, remember? On the weekends, I'm gonna forget about this. On the weekends, five boxes, think of car. Come Saturday on Sunday, say hi, be the first in the stream that you automatically get. A five box sting gift card. You need to be the first in the stream. You need to be the first saying hi, you know, in order to be uh, to be the winner. This thing is gonna change. Maybe this week, maybe the next week, it's gonna change. It's gonna be randomized. I didn't want it to do it. It's gonna be randomized for the people that are in the stream that say hi. People that don't say hi, they're not gonna participate, you know, because we are gonna take the the names from the chat, not from the list of the chat, not from the people that are, particip are active. So be active, say hi, come to the chat because this is gonna change. 
uh, this is gonna change and you could be the next winner you know it's gonna be it's gonna be like a more fair for the people because not a lot of people can come in the beginning of the streams no not a lot of people can catch up now with the new system i believe it's gonna be better i'm gonna be working in this tonight to see if I, how I can implement these things to see if i can come we can come in tomorrow but don't expect the change tomorrow maybe next week maybe yeah I'm gonna tell you the next start shows they're gonna tell you see is gonna call me or not but changes are coming for this so more people can get it you know more fair even though it's the same person that get it it has to be different you know it has to be more fair because right now it's not fair at all people a lot of people not coming early and a lot of people the, it's like almost the same guys taking the, the loot which is pretty good you know i know you know i just want to give a little bit more opportunity to the people you know people gonna say thank you to the people that was hosting my stream today kind of go a little bit faster because uh, it's kind of late for me i have to go to work you know this is this is something that i cannot escape in my life unfortunately it, 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 we happen this is the reason why I know I'm not coming to streams uh, all the time is the reason that make me sick and everything but it's necessary it's a necessary evil I mean at, at this point at this point it's a necessary evil uh, unfortunately I need to I need to get used to something yeah, we got new people hosting streams too, which is pretty nice. Let me see if I can find it. Oh no, I need to do the car for that person too. Yeah, look, new people coming to the. Oh, that's weird. I don't have the the car for that person. Oh, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's the first time that he's hosting my streams. Yeah, let me see if I can do a, a pretty fast before we begin with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it's the first time that he hosted my stream, which is pretty nice. That new people are taking the the initiative to to help to, to spread the word about my channel and bring more people to the stream which is basically what they do with the host oh he got a lot of the Doritos bags on it kind of looks like he's being <laughs> he's being uh, sponsored by Doritos yeah yeah I used to eat a lot of Doritos back in the days but now I don't know, they put a lot of salt in, in it. There is a lot of salt. It kind of makes me salty. <laughs> yeah, but back in the days, it was like a... My, my combination was Coca-Cola and the Raiders all the time. It was awesome. I just don't want, man. I, I don't know. I just don't want them to put so much salt. Because it's too salty, man. It's to the point that I cannot, I cannot eat it no more. It's too salty. Maybe for you, it's different but for me. He got crazy situations. He got crazy situations. Yeah. Boom. And let me let me put in the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say take it to Jerry Pen. Jerry Pen for the host. Thank you for spread the word about my channel and bringing more people to the stream. It is pretty nice, pretty awesome, really makes me happy. Keep it up, man. And thank you for the rate. Of, uh, it was pretty awesome that you was ready my stream today. It's pretty cool. I'm going to say thank you to Marco X. Thank you for the host. Thank you for everything you do. Really appreciate it. Keep it up, Mr. Marco X. Really appreciate it. I'm going to say thank you to Sufficient, sufficient Geometry. It's a pretty awesome dude, too. They call me from time to time to host my streams with a mercy. I cannot find it. That's pretty that's pretty weird. I always put it over here. Oh, you see? I always put it over here. Sufficient geometry, thank you for the host. 
Thank you for giving me free advertisement without mercy. I'm gonna say thank you to Hasha Gidon too. Hasha Gidon is hosting my streams without mercy, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome. Ego all day, ego all day. Thank you for the host, hosting my streams without mercy too. Keep it up, really appreciate it. Station 6, Station 6 is hosting my streams too. Thank you for spreading the word about my channel, bringing my people to, to the stream. Ego all day. Ego all day hosting my stream. Thank you for giving me free advertisement without mercy. What is Ego all day? Ego all day. Ego all day. Thank you for the host. Yeah, it's over here, man. Thank you for that. Thank you for spreading the word about my channel. Really, my people to the streams. Fuzzy Pan, the sacks. Thank you for the host. Thank you for giving me free advertisement without mercy. I was watching yesterday some Fuzzy Pan, the sacks streams playing Paladins. Which is pretty nice. A mixer, yeah, pretty nice uh, streamer. I'm gonna say thank you to Station Six. Station Six, thank you for the host. What is it, Station Six? Oh, I said, oh yeah, I said Station Six. Look over here. Thank you for the host. Uh, I'm gonna say thank you to Dub Dub Q Dub One Q. Thank you for the host. Thank you for spreading the word about my channel, and bringing my people to the streams. I'm gonna say thank you to. To, 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 to the Monica Joya too, the Monica Joya, thank you for the host, I was watching yesterday too, uh, some streams of the Monica Joya mixer, he was doing the, the guitar bass with many songs, it was pretty nice, pretty awesome, keep it up Mr. the Monica Joya, thank you for that, streams, I'm gonna say thank you to Wild Linus, thank you for the host, thank you for everything you do, really appreciate it, AC80, AC80, thank you for the host too, Thank you for giving me free advertisement with a mercy. It's really appreciated. It is pretty awesome. Sorceress, thank you for the host. Thank you for spreading the word about my channel and bringing more people to the stream. Your brand new hero too is coming with the host, which is pretty nice. Your brand new hero, thank you for that. Really appreciate The great father, the great father hosting my streams too. Thank you, awesome, awesome, pretty good that you hosting my streams. Mr. The Great Father, I really appreciate that too. You know, giving me free advertisement without much. Talkers, Mr. Talkers, thank you for the host. Thank you for spreading the word about my channel, bringing more people. You know, pretty awesome stuff. Um, I'm gonna say thank you to Ranging Spans. Ranging Spans, thank you for the host. Thank you for all the things you do. Thank you for giving me free advertisement too. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna say thank you to Gail Dagenhard, or Gail Dagenhard, that hosts my streams almost every day without mercy. Keep it up, man. Really appreciate it. it really makes me happy. It really makes me happy. This is very nice. Uh, let me see. Let me see who else is hosting my streams today. I really say everybody. Now, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 everybody, everybody's over here, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, really, 17, 18, wow, really, there was a lot of people, no, but I only have 15, I'm counting wrong, I believe I'm counting wrong, let me see, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this person, this person. Is, oh, yeah, there is some people that are not hosting my streams. I got it like a day hosting my streams. Let me count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five. supposed to be like that yeah but Marco and Jaden Pen are hosting too so I don't know what, what's up ahead over there it looks like they only show you 15 in the number but but in the list is more than 15 it looks like a, yeah pretty awesome I'm gonna say thank you to all those people that was hosting my streams today was a pretty nice toy show some podcasts we focus today we were focused today more in the 
in the micro string space lower stream so if you check it out the BOD later on you're gonna see like oh man it's somebody else talking yeah I was there watching with them you know watching over here talking a little bit you know to the people to ask questions stuff like that it's just kind of different that show they are gonna be doing it you know every time they, they do a stream stuff like that we are gonna be doing it in, the, in that same style but the teacher sample sky is coming every single friday so if you like those you can come in on friday check it out people we are gonna raise somebody like we do every single day every single time we are streams we raise somebody you know maybe i'm not gonna be spending so much time in that other people's streams because i had to be prepared myself to 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 go to work this is, is this is the only problems with when you have to work. Weekends are good because I can spend time with you guys in those in those uh, streamers channel. But from Monday to Friday, I kind of I kind of you know difficult situation for me. It's a kind of difficult situation for me. Oh, let's let's support this person. I used to came to my stream from time to time, but now he's, he's not coming. I don't know if he, 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 he talks. I never saw his streams first time. They saw him stream. I believe he told me one time, like, oh, no, I'm not going to be streaming. Never in my life, something like that. But it looks like he's, he began to stream, you know. It looks like I, he comes for the loot, too. So let me check it out. Yeah, well, people, we are gonna be re reading this person. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it in the chat so you know we are reading this guy. Please stand by, you know, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, there is nobody that I know are playing Space Lords. It could be nice to put like a Space Lords raid. But nobody that I know that I follow is doing it. So I'm gonna be jumping into another person that playing another game. Some Horizon Zero Down stuff. Never, never, never put the time to watch this game. Even though the same program that they use to to texture and to do the graphics in this game, <laughs> I was like a, basically one of the supporters. Of that program, it came with the with the lady from this game, with the face of the lady in the in the in the splash screen of the software and everything. Even though I I, I, I got very early access uh, to tools using in this game, I never I never went for the game. It's kind of crazy situation. Kind of crisis situation. Oh, has to get them. Welcome to the strings. Has to get Welcome to the strings. Has to get says, ha, Have a good day, buddy. Stay awesome. Oh, thank you for coming, Mr. Has to get Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for that. It is pretty nice. Really makes me happy. Yeah, people, we're going to be jumping to the red. Thank you for, for coming, Has to get I hope. Uh, Hope you're coming tomorrow to the stream. Tomorrow is gonna be uh, uh, a quite champion stream. It's gonna be pretty nice. So don't forget about it, people. So, you know. Thanks, thanks for your support. We coming tomorrow. We are not the stream. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, thank you for the sub. Mr. Hasgida, thank you for your support, really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel for 16 months in a row, which is pretty nice. 16 months in a row, people, look. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for that, Mr. Hasgida. Really appreciate it that you subscribe to my channel without mercy. It is pretty nice, pretty awesome. Really makes me happy. Keep it up. Keep it up, Mr. Hasgida. Yeah. Very important, thank you for that support, has you given you has become one of the most important viewers in my channel, supporting my streams every single month with the mercy with the beaters coming to the chats and everything. Really makes me happy. 
you bas basically has has become the owner of the channel basically <laughs> yeah which is pretty pretty nice yeah well I want to stay a little bit more unfortunately I have to move on because uh, the thing is, is at the essence for me and I have to I had to keep moving because I had to go to work uh, today something that yesterday I had to I had to came in early from there because the heat it was too hard to, to do too hard for me has again says no worry catch you next time dude. oh catch you next time Mr. Hasegay thank you for your support really 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 appreciate it Hope you come in tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be a quick champion stream. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a long stream. You know, decided to do long streams instead of do like a double streams. Yeah, it was taking a toll on me on the weekends. Like a super excited for the thing, first streams. Then to begin the another streams later on, it was like a, a stretch for me. Nine weekends in the nines for me are pretty crazy to be talking. You know, I could play, I could play, I could chat, I could watch other people stream, but talking at that time is not like I recommend it. You know, nobody told me nothing, but I don't want to wait until that happens. Well, people, thank you for everything. Thank you for your support, Mr. Hasuki. I really appreciate it. And see you tomorrow with another stream. So I'm going to say bye-bye. Well, I, ha I had it. They are coming back in a minute instead of being, instead of instead of having the red one. Oops, bad people. Oops. Hashaginos, stay cool. Don't work too hard. Well, it's, it's difficult to do the man because the, the my 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 job is hard. Is hard uh, by nature. It's a hard job. It's a it's a job that you better don't do it. You don't want to work hard because it's hard. It's lifting cases, 200 cases every hour, cases that, that go from 40, 40 pounds to 100 pounds, almost 60 pounds, stuff like that. Uh, I need to do 200 in an hour, so it's, it's pretty intensive. It's like a, it's like a, a race. While I'm working throughout the warehouse, looking for the product, and it's crazy. It's something difficult to explain. Uh, it's a job that that you will you will destroy your back. You will destroy your it will destroy your service. It's kind of slavery. It's kind of crazy. Well, people, thank you for everything. I see you. I see you tomorrow with another stream. Bye bye.